206. Are you available? Copy. 240 negative? Sorry. False alarm on that code red near Magnolia. Try that carpet shop off Post Alley. Tank 303, copy. Dispatch, I need to run a license check on that 10th. Officer Matthews, I've got a 1010 in progress. 1452 Lewis Avenue. I'm gonna need backup. Copy that. All backup available. You didn't do anything. It's gonna be alright. On the ground. Okay, update time. You heard back from Jen yet? Um, no. I'm sure she'll reply at some point. Let me take a look at the situation. Hey, Jen, you going to the party tonight? Dude, we talked about this. Could you have any less game? I'm no good at this. Ooh, how about... Yo, Jen, see you at the party. Let me know if I should bring handcuffs. <laughs> oh my god, you thirsty bitch. Here, let Lila the Love Witch work her magic. Okay, just don't make me sound like a loser. I said matchmaker, not miracle worker. Hey, hold on. Let me check it before you send. Too late. Would be awesome to see you there? What? I could have texted that. It's a good start. She'll text back, you'll see. You know, I don't even know if I want to go tonight. Oh, please. It's gonna be fun. You hate every party. Oh, uh, because they're all the same. Too many people, too fucking loud, everybody's wasted. Yes, Sean, you just described a party. Well, the suspense is killing me. It's dad, he wants to know if I'm coming home after school. <sighs> Jeez, I'm not a 10 year old. He just cares about you, Sean. Anyway, you should be happy your dad's looking out for you. Oh, it's Jen saying she can't wait to see us at the party. What? Really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Told you I would work my matchmaker magic. Hmm. So, so what should I wear tonight? A condom. Oh, ha ha. Paying plenty of attention in sex ed class, I see. Hey, lovebirds. Back from the loony bin? Shut the fuck up, dickhead. Damn, your neighbor's an asshole. Yep. Always true to himself. Man. We need to find a couch for your yard one day. <sighs> Ooh. 
Ooh, careful. Last time, my dad almost busted me out here. Because you were alone? Your dad wouldn't bust me. He loves me. So, you want to hit or not? Yeah, okay. It's Friday. Thanks for making me smoke again. Oh, then I'll make sure you don't smoke any weed tonight. Deal? <laughs> Deal. <laughs> Can't wait to see you baked as hell trying to pull this off. Speaking of weed, I got that covered tonight. What else do we need? Eric said his parents don't leave shit at the cabin, so we better make an official party list. Hey, whoa! What the hell are you don't doing? Don't move! You're my human post-it note. First, we need money for supplies, munchies, chips and dip, soda, etc. Uh, this better wash off. And of course, we must not forget the booze. I can probably snag a six-pack from Dad if he's got enough. Hey, did you ever think of maybe just sending a text instead? Hmm. Oh, right. Blankets. It's gonna get so chilly tonight. You and Jen are gonna need something to snuggle under. Oh, one last thing. C-O-N-D-O... Oh, stop. You're out of room, punk. Is this how you see a penis? Damn, you should try and actually see one for real. You don't want to go down that road, dude. My chances of scoring tonight are probably ten times yours. <laughs> you wish. Ugh, these fucking planes, man. I want to hate them, but I'll miss them so much if I move somewhere else. Shit changes so fast. I get so emo sometimes, wondering what will happen to us once we graduate. Will you still be my BFF? Will shit ever get better than 1452 Lame Avenue? Yeah, man. Friends forever. Yeah, but what happens if we go to different colleges? Or you get sick of me? Whatever. Uh, you heard of the internet? <laughs> no way distance can tear us apart. We're freaking fighters. Yeah, you're right. Best freaking fighters forever. Okay, it's getting way late and I gotta pick out my outfit for tonight. Skype me later when you're ready. Hugs. Talk to you soon. Hello, Friday night. Hey, perfect timing. Just the sun I wanted to see. Oh, sure. But I'm a little busy. Did you see Lila? She said we can go to the movies next week. She said- Dude, bug her, not me. You're not exactly her type. You're lucky she puts up with you. Ugh, jeez. Thanks, Pop. I feel really supported right now. You're welcome. And now we need an objective judge. That would be you. <gasps> really? Hey! No shh, fair. Shh, shh. Court is in session. Judge Diaz presiding over the case of the last Choco Crisp. I... I have to go, uh, get ready for a party and stuff. So... Well, if you want to attend to a party and stuff, you have to earn it, Your Honor. Oh, shit. Hey, he swore. Yes, I heard Tattletale. Mm. Please, Judge Diaz. Be an example to the court and society. Then you can go hook up or chill or whatever. Now, who deserves to eat this final choco crisp? Your adorable little brother who eats about 10 bags a week or 
your poor, suffering father who slaves over a hot engine to provide his family with a home and a garage? Me, me, me. Come on, Judge. Shh, 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 shh. Let him decide. Judge? The verdict, please. You're both guilty of wasting my time. Case closed. What? No fair. Dad. Dad, Dad. What is this? Mm. My own flesh and blood tosses me under the bus. He sucks. Okay. Back to work. I hear an engine calling my name. And you better play nice together. Like you always do. Yeah. After the work in my room, too. Yeah? Don't hurry back. Tighten this. So, finally decided to come and join your old man under the hood, huh? <laughs> yeah, um, sure. I know it's not your thing, but you gotta learn a trade. Art, athletics, engineering, I don't care. As long as you put your heart into it. I'm trying. I just don't know what direction to go. You're only 16 years old. You've got time to figure it out. Trust me, took me a while, too. And... you happy with it? I mean, your job? Living here? Of course I am. We're doing great. Maybe one day when I retire, I'll go back to Mexico. To Puerto Lobos. But until then... Ugh, I've heard this one before. Hmm. I don't even know why I'm fixing you a sweet car for graduation. Ugh. Come on. It's wicked. I'm just not used to driving. You better get used to it, or you'll be taking your date to prom on the number 30 bus. Like I'm going on tons of dates. Not when Daniel's cock-blocking me the whole time. He's nine. He doesn't even know what cock-blocking is. He looks up to you, Jean. Try and help him. It's what family is for. Things are kind of scary out there in this country right now. Yeah. Oh, um, by the way... Ha! I was wondering how long it'd take. You need money for the party tonight, right? <sighs> ah, 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 shh. Just be honest with me. No bullshit. Are you using this money to buy alcohol? Weed? Um, I mean... <sighs> yeah, probably. But we'll be partying at a house and nobody's driving home. I swear. Well, everybody's got to get home somehow. But yeah, you and Lila better not get in any car with somebody who can't walk straight. Holy shit, 40 bucks? Really? Yeah, why not? You did a good job on the lawn. Plus, I appreciate that you didn't lie to me. Thanks, Dad. Just be careful. That's all I'm asking for, okay? I know what kind of crazy shit kids can get into. Don't worry. We got smartphones and stuff. We can call a ride if we need it. And I can always text you. I try not to. Or you know, you could have set my friend request on Facebook so I could keep an eye oh, on... Oh my god. Okay. I have to go. Thanks, hey, Dad. Hey, hey, Not so fast, Shawnee boy. Don't you think your papito deserves a hug? Ugh. Oh my god. Not when you call yourself like that. Ugh. I get it. Too lame to hug the old man. Been there. All right then. Get out of here, Mr. Cool. Bye. Love ya. I love you too, hijo. Hey, Jen. What's up? Oh, Try again, loser. Hey, you look totally hot. Oh my god, stop. Ugh. Hey, you wanna share my blanket? Hey, Jen. Do you wanna hang out sometime? Not bad. Remember, don't be too thirsty.
finally ready to go. Time to Skype Lila on my laptop. Dude, come on, open up. Why? Because. Okay, okay. What are you doing in there, Dr. Frankenstein? You ate my choco Chris. Don't be pissed. You always see the whole box. What's with the sisters? You'll see, but not now. So don't come in. Oh, man. Damn, sounds pretty serious. Should I call an ambulance now before it's too late? Maybe. <laughs> All I can say is watch out for my costume in three days. This Halloween is going to be awesome. Are you going to the party tonight at Eric's house? Will Lila be there? Yes, 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 and no. You can't go. Teenagers only. I bet Lila would let me go. She's way nicer to me than you. <sighs> Did she ask about me? <sighs> I'm sorry, dude. She's cheating on you. Shut up! And I don't even care if I can't go. Because... Because I have secret stuff to do. Alone. Of course you do. Oh, lower boy. Just give me a minute. Gee, where did I put the... Mm, hold on. Okay, hi. Did you get everything on your hand list? It's all in my backpack, yeah. Dad hooked me up with some cash, so we're set for the night, in case we need anything else. Or if you and Jen need anything else, ooh la la. <sighs> okay, serious talk. What are you gonna say to Jen tonight? Well, I don't know. Play it cool, talk about the gig last week, get to know her tastes. Oh, oh my god, you did rehearse your moves for tonight. You're totally into her. Duh, why do you think I'm freaking out? She's so super cool. You're super cute. Just be yourself. That's why she's Sean. into you. Sean, I'm done. Look, I made zombie blood. It's um, corn syrup and food coloring. Hey, hi, <sighs> Lila. Get out of my room, Daniel. I was just. Come on, man. Just the... just bugging the uh, shit out what? of me again after I told you to knock. Uh, yeah, what? I know. Anyway... Sean, you're an asshole. What's your problem? He's not always cute. You would sound like me too if you lived with him. Anyway... You wouldn't be so uptight if you got laid. And maybe... Tonight's the night? Don't jinx me. Jinx? I'm your lucky charm, bitch. <laughs> okay. So when are you coming over? I just have to hit up the momster for the car keys and hope she doesn't make me lie too much about the party. I'm already in trouble from last time. This time, don't get caught. Well, yeah. It's my portrait. Whoa. Her hair. Well, indeed. I told you she was super into you, man. What's her profile picture got to do with me? Huh. You will see. OMG, you gave her an LOL? <laughs> that is a ballsy move. So what? I'm a funny guy. Are you? Leave me alone! I'll call my dad! Hold on, okay? Something's going on outside. What do you mean? Hey! Look at my shirt, asshole! What's the big deal? It's Halloween! Uh, hey. Don't ever touch my brother! <laughs> You hear me, Brett? Fuck you, Diaz. He got his fake blood shit all over my shirt. Look! I told you, it was an accident. You better leave us alone. Oh yeah, go hide in your dad's garage. Pussies. You think you own the block? Dude, did you get that butt on him? Uh, uh, it was... It was an accident. I swear. He's a fucking retard. See what happens when you don't listen? Dad told you to stay in the yard. I know, I know, Sean. I was just acting like a zombie and I forgot. I swear. I swear. Wah. Take the little baby back to his crib. Come on, Daniel. We're done.
Yeah, go back to daddy. Pussies. No wonder your mom bailed on you. Ah! Whoa! Sean, you hit him! Get inside now! Sean! You're dead meat, bitch! You and your whole fucking family are going to jail! Losers! What's going on? Fuck me! Daniel, get over here! Sean! He's hurt? Okay! Okay, step away! Now! Calm down, officer! Shut up! And step back! <laughs> On the ground! Now! Hey, wait! This guy was he started beating it. up my little On the brother! Ground. Now! Hands behind your Sean. head! Sean! This is fucking bullshit! Oh, no. Sean! What's Get happening? Get the ground! Sir. Dad! We didn't do Sean, anything! Sean, be quiet! I swear! I'm shot in this- oh. I'm sorry, Dad! Daddy! Just be quiet! You wanna go home? They're good kids, officer. Don't move! I'm sure they didn't do I anything! I said don't move! We didn't Daddy, do anything! It's gonna be alright! On the ground! No, man. We can't stop here. We gotta keep going. No pouting, okay? Come on. But... But... My feet really hurt. These shoes suck. And we've been walking for four days. What? Only two. Don't even try that shit. And my back hurts from sleeping under that stupid bridge. Yeah, so does mine. I was there too. Just... Knock it off. I hate it when you act like this. This is how people camp in the woods. It's not like being... being at home or... or in your room. This is a... a real adventure. Right? So... come on. Let's hit the trail. 
Seriously. Where's Dad? Daniel, come on. We gotta go. Why isn't Dad with us, Sean? Doesn't he want to go camping too? Yes, but I told you that he can't. I told you. Okay? Okay. But I am so sick of walking. I just wish I was back in my room. I know. I know. Hey, at least we don't have to go to school on Monday, right? Yeah. Look, um, everybody's gonna be so stoked when they find out how far you walked. Really? Really? I bet Dad would be too. Do you think we walked, like, maybe a hundred miles? Probably two hundred. Feels like it. Ooh, awesome pots. But next time, Dad better give me a good pair of shoes, like yours. Dude, <laughs> Bigfoot doesn't need good shoes. I'd rather be a wolf. Ow! We could be wolves. Yeah. Yeah, that, that works. Just work on that how. Hey, you know what? Let's see if you can walk the whole way without complaining once. Huh? Uh, like, you don't whine too? I don't whine. I... I... Tag your ass and no. run! You're it! No way! Not fair! Whatever. Okay. I'm a zombie, and I'm gonna eat you! Blah! Stop! You know what? You're not allowed to say that. Ever again. Yes, sir. You'll be the first one to know when we get there, okay? I'm tired and hungry, too. Listen, this looks like a perfect place to camp out. I bet we're not the first people to stay the night. It's creepy. There's nobody out here. We didn't even see any cars. We're gonna camp here. I'll look out for you. Oh, look! You 
What do you find? Check it out. There's a chunky chocolate crisp bar on the dashboard. Yeah, I see it. You know I love Choco Crisp bars. I haven't had one in a million years. Yeah, right. More like two days ago. Come on. Can we please, please, please get one when we stop next? Please? Let's take this one. Nobody's gonna miss one single Choco Crisp bar. Really? I would. This is for a good cause. Oh, uh, almost. I got it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Boom. Choco Crisp is ours. Now we have dessert. Come on. Let's beat it. Ooh, there's a river nearby. A river? Are we gonna go swimming? No. Duh. It's way too cold for your skinny butt. Okay. Check out this mark on the tree. What is that? Graffiti? Not exactly. It's called a trailblaze, and people used to put them up to give directions. Like GPS? <laughs> yeah, sure. Just slightly more ancient. Awesome! Let's follow it. <sighs> okay, dude. You have to use the bathroom? No. It smells real bad. No shit. Seriously? You better go now. I don't have to go. Jeez. Can I just pee on a tree? Okay. But you'll have to go on your own later. Stop treating me like a baby. Aren't you Mr. Minecraft? I thought you loved the forest. I watched you build giant cities out of logs. I did. I built the biggest cities ever. Ooh. I can use my axe to chop up some wood. Then we can build a secret base. <sighs> well, sounds like you're ready for the woods. Lead the way. Picnic and hiking site. Well, I bet nobody comes out here to picnic anymore. Well, that's good for us. No camping? Uh-oh. Don't worry. Nobody's gonna find us out here. Do not feed or disturb the animals? What? What kind of animals? Like bears? Or coyotes? Or... More like squirrels, rabbits, critters. Just don't bug them and they won't bug us. They're way more scared of us than we are of them. Unless they're angry or hungry. Okay, come on. Don't freak yourself out. Let's go. I'm so tired. Feels like we're walking nowhere. How am I supposed to take care of us out here? I don't even know what happened back there. To that cop. Or Danny. How can that be? Whoa. Look at that. Yeah. So cool. Never seen you get so jacked up over a nice view before. So? I've never seen anything like this. Never, ever! Yeah. I guess you haven't. I remember when... Dad... I wish Dad was here with us. Well, thanks. Not cooling off anymore? Yes, you're super cool. But... I just wish the family was together, at home. It'll be cool to watch a movie and get a pizza and eat ice Dude, cream. Dude, stop. I told you we have to keep going. We'll see that later. Right now, it's just you and me, okay? Yeah, it's our park. We can do whatever we want. That's right. So, we better go build a, a secret base so we can hide out for the night. Are you ready? Yes! I can build anything! We just have to find some cool blocks around here. And be careful of creepers. Okay. Let's go. <gasps> That's 
That's one big tree. <sighs> okay, now it's your turn. Hop on down. I'll catch you. How come nobody is out here? Huh? It's October. People don't hike as much. So why are we? Because we can. We're badass warriors, dude. Cool. <sighs> I got you! Dude, you struck out. That did not scare me. Liar, liar! Uh, I saw your face. That was, uh, surprise. Maybe you scared me for like one second. <laughs> I got you, I eat you. Don't mess with the zombie. Ooh. Looks like a cave. Kind of, kind of spooky. No. Actually, it's kind of perfect. For what? For us, man. We're gonna stay in there? I don't know. <sighs> Come on, Daniel. Look, this could be our secret base. We could fight off any skeletons or creepers with some good traps. Cool. In that case, we definitely need to get a fire going first, right? Right! Yes! Uh, so what do we need? Okay. Uh, I needed to build a camp to keep out all those creepers and whatever. And I'll take care of finding the wood. Deal? Yes! I can build traps, too. Nothing will get to us. Awesome, dude. I know. <sighs> okay. Let's unpack. Finally. Coming! Hey, this isn't too bad. I guess Daniel can chill a little. Hey, can you give me a hand? Yeah. What are you doing? I'm trying to move this branch. To protect the base. Good call. Here, let me take this side. You got it? We'll see. Go ahead and push. We did it. Nothing can get in here now. Damn right. Nice work, Daniel. Cool. I'll go check the river. Check this out, Sean. Whoa. Nice view. You can see so far. Wait, I'm coming. It's beautiful. Pretty amazing, huh? See? It's not so bad here in the forest.
Hey, look at those clouds. What do they look like to you? I don't know. Cotton candy? <laughs> That's it? Cotton candy? I don't know. What do you see? A dragon. What? Where? Okay. There's the tail. And the horns. And the fangs. And the smoke coming out of its mouth. Oh, I see it. It's awesome. Wouldn't it be cool if we had a pet dragon? something else. There's a giant douchebag. <laughs> oh, yeah? Where? <laughs> right here. <laughs> right here, huh? Let's go eat something. Watch me. Dude, come on. That's a boulder, not a rock. Here, you need a flat rock. Hold it like this. Look at my hand. Boom. Okay, I did it. My turn. Hold it with your thumb and finger, and spin your wrist when you throw. Almost. What did I do wrong? Try again. You've almost got it. Oh. Man. You're getting into the zone. Don't give up now. I did it! I did it! Did you see? <laughs> oh yeah! That was awesome! I think you're ready for the Olympic stone skipping team. Uh... Who are you? Who are we fighting? Skeleton with flame arrows? Watch out! <sighs> Close call. Now it's our turn. Ah, right into a scroll. We are awesome. Damn right. Thanks for having my back. All right, Inano. We're cave people now. Time to make fire. Ooh, ooh, ah. We make fire. Can I help? You have a big mouth like me, so come on. Blow. Yes. Dude, don't blow it out. Sorry. Sorry. I wanted to do it like a movie. Oh, nice. It's warming up.
Wish we had more. I know. Me too. Uh... I'm ready for dessert. <laughs> Go ahead. Mmm... Do you want a piece? Eh, uh, I'm good. You eat it. I'm the judge now, not you. So you can't have a piece anyway. Okay. <laughs> Figures you try to get revenge, Judge. Hey, I want a new trial. Too late. Court closed. Mmm. Mmm. So good. I wish we had a cheeseburger and a milkshake like yesterday. Yesterday was yesterday. Now that we're out here, we have to do everything ourselves. Right? Okay, but you'll help me if I need it, right? That's what I'm here for. And you gotta help me, too. You okay, buddy? Yeah. Feels good to sit down. Sean? Are you mad at me for what happened with Brett? I don't remember everything. It's not your fault. Shit happens. Brett deserved it. Why can't I remember? Uh, that's weird. Um... Uh, don't worry, dude. You were running around all day. You tired out. It happens. Funny how a little food chills Daniel out. It looks like there's... Look! A full moon! Ooh! <laughs> it's not quite full yet, wolf boy. Do you think there are werewolves for real? Dude, we are the wolves. Oh! See? Ow, ow! Funny how a little food chills Daniel out. Uh, you look tired. Ready to crash? Uh, I think I need to go to the bathroom. I knew it. Okay, if you have to pee, then go. You want me to come? No, I'm not a baby. Dude, not that close. We have to sleep here. I wasn't. I was trying to find somewhere to go. Sean, I heard something. I swear. Yeah, it's a forest. There's a lot of critters out there. Scared you might pee on them? Shut up. I didn't. I think we earned some serious rest. I could sleep forever. Not on this ground. Ugh. Better than freezing out there, right? Way better. Now we have a real fire. And a secure base. You did awesome today, Daniel. Really? Hell yeah. Yeah, you're like a... a real wilderness expert. Um, that's cool. Why won't stay open, son? Sleep tight, bro.
Hey, bro, wake up. Huh? Sean? What happened? Where's Dad? It's okay. You, you just had a bad dream. That's all. Sean? Where... Where are we? Right here, in the park. Remember our amazing fire? Um, yeah. Are we okay? Uh, you fortified our base, so we're perfect. Um, I did. You're right. Go, go back to sleep. You need your rest. But I might have another scary dream. You won't. I'm here. Just... Just close your eyes. Thanks, Sean. I'm glad you're here. Good night, Daniel. Look, it's easier now. We're going down here. We just gotta keep walking. Uh, yeah, that's better. Hey, maybe we'll find a milkshake shop. Ah, oh, yes. The Four Secret Milkshake Factory. <laughs> keep dreaming, dude. Let's walk a little more. There will be a rest stop or something where we can buy food. I'm sure of it. Oh. Remember that time Harry Thompson wanted to beat me up? Me and Noah traded some games with Harry, but he didn't like his, so he said he was gonna get us after school. What did you do? We waited in the gym until he went home. That's it? You should have told me. I tried, but you said to get out of your room. I'm sorry, Nano. I should have listened. You never believe me. Like with Brett? Yeah, I know. It's just... I'll do better, okay? Hey, there's something ahead. Yep. Must be the gas station we saw on that sign. Um... Hey... Hi. Uh-oh. Here it comes. Oh, hi there. Hey, happy Halloween. My brother's a zombie. Don't you have a costume? Nuh-uh. I'm 11 years old. Halloween is for kids. Oh, my brother loves it. I don't. I'm almost 12. Kids always want to be adults. If only they knew. So, how old are you? Uh, he's nine. I'm almost 10. Oh, you can talk. <laughs> yeah, he can talk. A lot. Whatever. Uh, it's a really nice weather for a picnic. Isn't it? <sighs> so, what are you boys doing this gorgeous day? We're camping for the weekend. But, uh, we, my dad forgot to bring our groceries, so we had to come here. Oh, no. I hope you didn't have to walk far. Where are you camping? I don't know the name of the spot. It's over there. That way. You don't know the name of your campsite? Hmm. Okay. Uh, well, we gotta get going. You look busy, so have fun. Bye. Take care. Dad always had a thing for gas stations. We stopped at so many on our road trips. He says they're all kind of the same. They feel familiar. Almost like home. Same bad coffee. Same nasty toilets. Same food. But I don't feel at home at all. Something, please? Um, yeah. Sorry. Just daydreaming. Okay. Let's go.
Hey, hi. Good evening. Yes, can I help you? You don't look like you're from around here. We're camping. Yeah? Where? I... I can't remember the name. It's not far. So where are your parents? We're with... our dad. Hmm. That makes sense. How come he's not here with you? He's, um, just outside, waiting for us in the car. Okay. I didn't see your car come in. Well, didn't mean to grill you. Just making sure you're okay out here. Have a nice day. It's expensive, but I can't let Daniel freeze. I know what you're thinking. What the hell is this creep looking at? Oh, uh, no, I don't mean... I mean... It's not as weird as it seems, though. These people, they only want to live a normal life. Just naked. I mean, if they're not harming anyone, who's to say they're wrong? Nobody. Yeah, I agree. Yes, why should we all be the same? Who says so? <laughs> Never mind. I'm getting carried away. Name's Brody. I'm kind of an online traveling journalist. Sean. What's a online traveling journalist? Just a fancy name for someone who drives around in a car, writing about people and stuff. There's a few websites that pay me for these papers since I know how to write. Nice to meet you, man. You traveling with your brother? Our dad's with us. We're going south. Good for you. The best way to learn is on the road. The earlier, the better. Well, I'd love to talk and avoid work all day, but I'm already up against the deadline. Safe travels, dudes. Thanks, man. See you around. Watch where you're Hi, walking. Hey, I don't want Come mud see. all over my store. Why are you looking at adult stuff? Hey, hi. Uh, sorry about my brother. <laughs> oh, don't be. He's awesome. Hey, what about that? Damn. Stop looking at me, please. I'm trying to shoplift here. Can't go wrong with these. See the baby bear, Daniel? Oh, that is awesome, possum. I mean, bear. So cool. Then he's all yours. We have a surplus, as you can tell. Really? Oh, thank you. Yeah. P R O P A N E. Daniel, come check this out. It's a puppy. Super cute. Yeah, super cute. Is this yours? Somebody left her down the road. If I saw who did that, it'd be the last time. Aw, he must be sad. What's his name? Her. Whoever takes her gets to name her. Oh, right. Oh, can we have the puppy? Please? Let me think. I don't know. It's a pretty huge responsibility. Yeah. It would be so cool. Come on. Oh, honey. We have to have an adult take care of her. I know. I just thought we could. I'd love to. She's right. We can't take care of a dog right now. Looks like you're all set to go. Is that it? Yeah. I think so. Okie dokie. Let's ring you up. And there's the damage. Ouch. Okay. We got that. Thanks much. All right, here's your change. Cool. Thanks. Hey, man, check this out. Power Bear Claw? Uh, can we play? I bet it's easy to get a prize. Yeah, no. See all those prizes still inside? Nobody wins except the machine. Oh. Uh, but hey, we're the Wolf Brothers. Let's teach this machine a lesson, right? 
Yes. So, who goes first? Go get him, little brother. No one can defeat. Ooh, Just... I'm gonna beat this boss. Let's go, Power Bear Claw. Wait till you get a good opening. Not there. It sucks. Don't grab so fast. This is hard. Ugh. Can you try? Yeah, okay. Let's see what I can do. Yeah! Here we go. Almost! Beware can I play? Please, please, please. Oh, man. Sorry, but we're out of coins. What? That's it? Yeah, I told you. Come on. Let's not waste time on that stupid thing. Not fair. I just wanted one little power bear. I know, Daniel. But look, we're already surrounded by bears. Hey, look, empty table. Uh, let's grab it and check out this map. Come on in. Let's wash a little. Ugh, I'm coming. Nice. Free water for us. Ah, cool. I know. So wash fast. Ugh. My hands are ice cubes. Okay. You're done. Oh, shit. My face. You look older, dude. Damn. Why do they let this rust out here? I know Dad would be able to fix it. Yeah. Maybe not that one, dude. He has to finish your car first. Yeah. I know. It's our table now. <laughs> yep. Let's see, what do we got here? Huh, is that all we've got? Sorry, Anna. Better than nothing, right? Yeah. Really? You got me a choco crisp? Of course I did. You deserved it. Where are you guys off to now? Uh, south, I guess. Right on. Pro tip, don't feed the bears. <laughs> See you later. Whoa, that's a big map. <sighs> yeah, hope I can read it. Is this supposed to be Washington? I don't recognize anything. Yeah, me neither. But we have to be somewhere in there. Hey, I know. We're here. There's a gas station, see? Nah, no way. We were near Mount Rainier yesterday, but it's miles away now. Let me show you where we are, okay? Yeah. All right, this is it. Are you sure? <sighs> yes, it is. It's next to the river we camped by yesterday. Here we are. Okay, so can we go there tonight? Are you kidding? It's way too far. You want to walk a whole week again? Aww, but it looks cool. Hold on. I'll find where we can go. Hey, kids. Looks like you're out camping. Oh, yeah. Just going over trails and stuff. Seems dangerous to be out here all alone. But maybe you're the ones who need to be watched. Huh? What do you mean? We just... I sure hope you pay for all that. We don't tolerate shoplifters. Uh... Sir, we paid for this. And the map was free. Well, let's go inside. You can show us what you bought. Uh, no, thanks. We have to go. Nope. You're going inside. Don't make this worse for yourself, kid. I will. 
Uh, excuse us, sir. We were just hiking, I swear. Then let's find out if you're telling the truth. Come on. Uh, but we have to get going. Sean? Uh, it's okay. Look, our, our dad is waiting for us. Okay. You can call him from our phone. Now let's go. Don't touch me! Don't do it, boy! Let go! Uh, Don't touch my brother! Uh. Hi. Officer Buell? It's Hank. Hank Stamper. Listen, I caught myself a couple of fugitives you might be interested in. finally awake sorry I had to secure you but if you're innocent don't act guilty how's your stomach it hurts I didn't pop you that hard you're all right I, I feel like I'm gonna throw up just let me use the bathroom nice try but I know who you are and what you did in Seattle saw it in the paper. Where's my brother? Wish I knew. Little shit took off. I'll find him. Don't worry. If you touch him... You think I'd hurt a little boy? Guess you didn't have any second thoughts about leading him out into the middle of nowhere, though. That's real safe for a little kid. If he's lucky... He won't end up like his criminal big brother. Just let me go. Please. You're the reason we need to build that wall. You hold tight. I'm gonna go get your brother. You're doing great. You totally fooled them. Thanks to you, we have a chance of getting out of here. Yeah? Yeah. We gotta hurry, though. He called the cops on us. Of course the fucking keys are all the way over there. Okay, Daniel. I see some keys, but I can't reach them. Maybe I can get them if I can... Pry this pipe off the wall. Can you find some kind of tool out there? I don't know where one is. I think I saw a big file thing in the workshop with all those bear sculptures. I know you can find it. Okay, I'll try. Is this what you wanted? This is it. You rule, Daniel. Come on, let's do this. Good job, bro. Come on. Okay. 
Hold on. Come on. Yes! Sean! Oh, God. I was so scared. Holy shit. Did that mother... Did that asshole hit you? Did he? No. He tried to grab me. But I got away. Okay. We need to cut this off. Fast. How about these? Dude, you rock. Did that asshole see you? No way. I'm invisible. Yeah, you are. Okay. Now we gotta get my stuff and go. Let's go! Sean! Okay. What? What happened? What? What did you do? I, I don't know. I don't know what happened. It's okay. You're safe now. You fucking little spick. You and your brother are going to jail for the rest of your life. The hell with you. I told you to leave us alone. Sean, what are you doing? Daniel, come on. We gotta get out of here. Come on. Come on. Wait. Shit. Watch out! Over there! Let's go! I don't know! Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing out here, man? You almost scared the shit out of me! You guys okay? You don't look okay. That asshole! At the gas station! We're fucking crazy! He tied me up in his back office! I swear! Dude. No more. I believe you. Okay? She's crazy out in the woods. Get in, you two. Hurry up before he catches us. having a shitty day. I knew that guy was sketchy. He was a total fucking dickhead. Man, it felt good to beat his ass. Whoa, kid. Maybe he deserved it, but don't do it and don't talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Sorry. I'm just still pissed off. Welcome to Redneck Land. I ain't Seattle no more. We only lived in one place my whole life. Kinda lame, but... Well, you're pretty young. You have time. That's what's great about traveling. It gives you perspective. Sometimes maybe too much. Well, don't let it phase you, little dude. You're going to meet some amazing people on the road, too. <coughs> what's under the blanket? Come on, I'm not stupid. <sighs> Daniel. What? We saved her. <laughs> We're heroes. Are you kidding me? We can't keep a dog. But you said that maybe we could. <laughs> Don't give up, Daniel. He's on the ropes. Jeez, come on. We need a dog. Bet Dad would agree. No, just, just stop. You win, but you better really take care of her. Deal. Thanks, Sean. She's gonna be so quiet. And, and, and what should we name her? Hey, 
Your dog, your choice. Oh, cool. Let's see. Um, mm, how about uh, mushroom? She totally looks like a mushroom. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Not much of a girl's name, though. Who cares? I'm sure she loves it. So do I. <laughs> All right. Mushroom it is, then. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Thanks, big brother. See, Mushroom, you got the best name ever now. <laughs> mushroom. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I feel like I just witnessed history. You're on your way to becoming official road warriors, my dudes. <laughs> Sounds like you've been on the road for a long time. Long, boring story short. I come from a family with money, but no soul. I took off after school and never looked back. Now I write stories for zines and websites, do podcasts, protests, try to make some positive change. Eh, whatever. Wow. So you're like all political. Everything is political, Sean. Are you like famous or something? <laughs> More like or something. People in my network know who I am and vice versa. Well, that's enough for me. <laughs> Sounds pretty awesome. <laughs> I kind of wish I was famous too. Hmm. Hey, no matter what, I just try not to get cynical. Otherwise, uh... I'd be like my family. <laughs> End of the day, we have to watch out for each other, right? Yeah. You did watch out for us. Thank you. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like your brother crashed hard. Oh, good. He always goes right to sleep in cars. Yeah, and feel free to do the same. I won't take it personally. What about you? You okay to drive? Oh yeah. This is my favorite time to drive. Traveling by night is kind of mysterious. Look at that. Oregon is like the edge of the world. Hmm. Hey, listen. I know what happened with you guys in Seattle. Do you want to talk about it? I'm a good listener. It's your call. No pressure. 
I... I don't even know what happened. It was so fast. It was the police. It's their fault. Dano just wanted to play zombie outside. Our shithead neighbor was picking on him. I got in a fight. So dad came out to help. Somebody called the cops and, and they shot him. They killed my dad in front of me. One second my dad was alive. Then... Then... Fucking cops. Hey, it's gonna be alright. Take a deep breath. And I didn't even get to hug my dad the last time I saw him. Listen, I'm really sorry this happened to you, man. Injustice is everywhere, and you're taking the brunt of it right now. But you're gonna be okay, Sean. How? Wish I could go back to my town. Even if it was boring like that one. At least I've had friends, family, a home. I used to bitch about it so much. Now I've got... Nothing. What is sure is, that's the past. But you can't look back now. You've got each other. And you have to move forward. Why? You may not see it, but what you and your brother have is the most important thing. He needs you. And you need him. I can tell he doesn't know what happened. Sean, at some point, you're gonna have to tell him. I know. I just have to find the right time. Take it from me. The sooner you can address it, the better. Yeah. I'm gonna do it next chance I get. It's just... Not gonna be easy. So then, what's your plan? Where are you going? Good question. I was thinking... Get out of the country? Fuck it, go down to Mexico, you know? <laughs> Damn. I thought I was the long-haul traveler. <sighs> Maybe this is crazy, but... Should we just keep going? Till we get to Mexico? If you think that's the right thing to do, yes. This is exactly what you're supposed to be doing. You have family there? Maybe. We don't even have family in the U.S. Except for grandparents we don't see anymore. What about your mom? No. No way. She's... out of the picture. But dad... He always talked about this plot of land he owns in this little coast town, Puerto Lobos. That's a pretty cool name. So it's gotta be great. Okay, so you've still got a long ways to go. We've shot the shit long enough. Time to hit the road. I'll drop you by a motel in a couple of hours. You guys could use some time to yourselves. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, Mushroom, you can chase me. Then, Sean. Um, <sighs> uh, no. Come, see if you can catch me. Ow! <laughs> Glad to see him act like a kid again. Hey, let's play fetch with the pup. Really? Yes. Let me do a test throw first. Cool? Well, okay. But I'm next. Okay, puppy. Get it! Go, Mushroom. Do you see her? Don't worry, she'll find it. Okay, here. <laughs> Watch how fast she'll get the stick. <laughs> you go for it. Just don't throw it too far. I won't. I swear. I mean, I promise. Come on, Mushroom. Come on. Look. It's a stick. Fetch! Come on, Mushroom. Get that stick. Looks like these two are getting along. It's good to see him like that. Well, I got you that room. Seriously? I... It's only a room. No big deal. Look, I had tough times when I started out. And some strangers saved my life. Thank you. Now's my turn to help someone. It's right there, room 10. On the second floor. Listen, I don't want to freak you out, okay? But you have to be twice as careful now. I know it's easier said than done, but... You should get rid of that phone. Okay. You can always get a burner later. Trust me. And Sean, talk to Daniel. He deserves Brody, to... you're not leaving, are you? Yes, I am, but not until Santa Brody gives you a goodbye gift. Ta-da! I, I mean, ho, ho, ho. And don't you dare argue about it. I'll leave it right here if you do. Okay, you win. Thanks, Brody. Feels good. Here, looks like it's yours now. As always. <laughs> Hold on. I didn't forget you. I've had it since my first road trip. And it's always kept me safe. Now it's yours. Cool. Um, do you think it's okay if she wears it? Like, our official guard dog? <laughs> sure. It's your bandana now. Okay. Time for me to hit the road again. Hey, don't look so sad. You can contact me on my blog, A Tribe Called West. So... You better keep me posted when you can, okay? We will. Thanks again, Brody. <laughs> ah, bro hug. <laughs> uh, wish you could stay with us. Me too, kid. <sighs> Sorry, I'll probably think of a better goodbye when I'm on the road, but until then, take care, my dudes. I'm gonna miss him. Me too. Okay. Time to hit the sack. Don't worry, Mushroom. I got you. Good. I'm gonna throw you in, cave boy. We can watch TV, too! And there's a balcony! Whoa, this is nice. And warm. <sighs> this bed is soft. 
What about this one? Uh, not bad, but too far from the TV. Can I take the one in front of the TV? Huh? Want to play it over rock, paper, scissors? Oh, there's no way you can beat me, but ready? I am so ready to beat you. Aw, shoot. I told you, man. Can we play another round? Come on. Sure, I mean, you're gonna lose again, but suit yourself. Not this time. Oh, Ty. Aw, oh, come on. Aw, come on. Not fair. You lost, man. What's not fair? I wanted that bed. Take it. For real? I don't really care. Awesome. They're the same, you know? Yeah, but I like this one better. All right, I'm gonna run a bath. We totally reek. Especially you, Pigpen. I wouldn't be so sure, cave boy. I'll call you when it's ready. Uh, I'll be right here. Of course you will. I'll be extra careful. What's that? Uh, it was in Brody's car. He gave it to you. Uh, well, uh, yeah. You stole it from him? I don't know. It looked cool, and you stole before, so I thought... <sighs> no, man. Stealing is bad. We only do it if we really need it, okay? Plus, Brody was super nice with us. If it's bad, then why did you do it? Hey, we had to. It, it was different. I don't want you stealing around, understand? Yeah. Okay. So, what's up? The buns want to catch hot dog man and turn him into sausage meat. Oh, yeah. The giant meatball attacks in the next episode, right? Yes, and they get to meet the city mayo. <sighs> man, it's been ages. Why don't you watch Hot Dog Man with me anymore? I'm too old, dude. And I've seen it so many times. <laughs> okay, Grandpa Sean. Feels so good to sit down and watch TV. <laughs> True. Watch out for Grandpa Sean! Stop! Sean! <laughs> no! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Next time, you'll respect the old man. I'm done here. You're missing the best part. I know, but I gotta take care of the bath. Don't forget you're up soon. I know. Dude, you really look like shit. Daniel will love this. You ready? Aw, the episode's almost finished. Nice try. The water's hot. Come on. Yeah, okay, I'm going. Oh my god. Whoa. So many bubbles. Try and keep them in the bathtub. I will. Promise. Thanks. And no, the dog is not taking a bath with you. Okay, okay. 
Don't worry. I should throw my phone away while Daniel is washing. It's nicer here. Wish I cared. Puerto Lobos, Mexico. Can I get us this far? And safe? How can we get there without money? And Daniel still doesn't know what really happened. How the fuck am I gonna tell him? Me and Daniel just have to take it one step at a time. Lila's freaking out. Maybe I should leave her out of this, or she'll get into trouble too. Sean? Hey, Lila. Sean, is that you? Do you... Sean! Oh, God. Are you okay? I guess. I'm... I'm in a motel. With Daniel. <laughs> Shit! Everyone's looking for you here. How about you? Are you okay? No. Everything's fucked up. I'm so worried about you. The cops are talking to everybody at school. This is a nightmare. We're fucked. Sean, don't say that. It will be okay. I miss you so much. Maybe you could come back. You know I wish I could, but we can't take that risk. They're gonna put me in juvie. Daniel... Bullshit. You're innocent. And I've got your back. No matter what. No way. I'm not gonna let you get in trouble for me. Stop acting like I'm never gonna see you again. That's bullshit. I'm sorry. I totally hate this. I guess... the freaking fighters are disbanded for a while. Shit actually changes, I guess. So, where are you going? Um, we're just going away for now. I'll call you if I get a chance. I miss you, Lila. Sean, wait.
Okay. Don't think about it. Just tell Daniel the truth. Are you kidding me? Remember that song? Come on, dance! Daniel, uh, come here. We need to talk. Can we get a drink first? I'm thirsty. Right now? You said I could have a Coke. Or something. Okay, I'll get you a soda. But when I come back, we're going to talk. Serious. Fine. What's the big deal? Daniel. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Daniel! What's happening? Daniel, calm down! You lied! Dad! Your dad is dead! Why? It was an accident. I fucked up, and a cop shot him. I'm so sorry. Why? Why did you lie to me? I just wanted to protect you until I could... Protect me from what? You? I... I hate you! Not my brother! Don't say that. I know I messed up everything. We're gonna get through this. Daniel, please! Oh. It's okay. I want that. <sighs> Me too. Sorry. I just just don't lie to me ever again. Ever. I promise I won't lie to you again. I promise. I'm serious, Sean. I know. Me too, Danny. What are we gonna do without him? Shh. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Sean. Am I a monster? Nothing is wrong with you. You're different. Okay. What are we gonna do now? I was thinking... Maybe we could go to Puerto Lobos. Where Dad grew up, you know? Yeah, I guess. It'll be fine, Daniel. There's nothing we can't do. As long as we're together. Can you tell me a story? Like he did? I'm not as good as him. He used to tell me bedtime stories too. Once upon a time, happily 
together. But, but one day, hunters took their dad away. Forever. So now the brothers were alone. And they had to find a new home. They started a journey. upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They all lived happily together, but, but one day, hunters took their dad away, forever. So now the brothers were alone, and they had to find a new home. They started a journey. Through the great big forest, the wolf brothers wandered for days and nights, learning how to live on their own for the first time. They slept in the backwoods among creepy creatures and barely ate anything. They eventually found a peaceful orchard and were able to eat in peace. But they didn't know. Hunters tried to tie them up. But the Wolf Brothers managed to escape with the help of a friendly bear. He showed them how to survive and helped them find a warm camp for the night. That's when the Big Brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. That's how they found themselves even further, headed to the faraway land of their pop, where they hoped Find peace. Try with this one. That one's too easy. Look. Don't brag. It was too heavy for you a few days ago. Let's try to 
lift something else. Not too heavy, though. I'm a little tired. How about those cans? Can you fly them all together without dropping any? Sure. Look. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. You're getting way better at this. How about trying out that rock over there? Just one more time. Come on! No, it's too far. Stop trying to make fun of me. Just one more time. I'm so close. I can feel it. How about that one? I can do it with the small rods, but not the big ones. You can do this. Trust me. Just relax. Focus. I'll try. Holy shit! I did it! <laughs> like a boss. You're getting good at you this. You see that mushroom? That was the biggest rock ever. Come on, dude. That's just the start. Let's try something else. Cool. You're like Coach Aaron. You're my power coach. A snowball fight? <laughs> Not yet. This is a new exercise, young apprentice. See if you can stop this in the air. Cool. Okay, but you better not hit me. Like that time you gave me a bruise? Serious. You won't let me, right? Try it. <laughs> Dude, you almost hit our dog. Learn how to aim. I'm sorry, Shroom. But you did stop it, Daniel. You learned fast. Let's do it one more time. But near me. Uh, and not super hard. It's just a snowball, Daniel. Ready? Yes! Look! Look what I can do, Sean! I knew that you could. I've taught you well. But you, you're a master student. <coughs> hey, that still sounds nasty. You're not getting better. I told you. I'm fine. Just a little beat. Well... You need to rest now, superhero. Can we go back now? Yeah. Let's just fill up the canteens before we head back. Here we go. The Hella Tanker is over the wildfire zone. Get ready for water extraction. Ranger Diaz. Nice work, Daniel. Glad to see our training sessions are paying off. Thanks to you. So glad I don't have to touch that water. It's too fucking cold. Uh, oops. Sorry. Yeah, dude. Watch it. Seriously. Okay. Cold. Don't worry. We'll make a fire. We're pros now. <coughs> Dude, that cough doesn't sound too good. Nah, uh, I'm okay. Just cold. You kicked ass today. <laughs> Level up. I did. That was so cool. It's getting easier every day. Oh no, Sean. 
This is a haunted house. More like, uh-oh, it's time to go over the rules. I told you about showing off. I was just... Whatever. Dude, I know the rules. Let's find out. What's the first one? Uh, um... Hide your power. If you spin one plate in a diner, what happens? People will freak out. And when people freak, what do they do? They call the tops. Exactly. The second rule is... Don't, uh... Never talk about it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> nice, Daniel. Because that's usually the hardest rule for you. <sighs> Shut up. <laughs> and the final rule? I know... Come on. Um... You can do it. Okay. Um... Avoid danger? Run from danger. This is the most important one. You know why? Uh... I don't know. I mean, with my power, I can help us. Only as a total last resort. How will I know that? If there's any other way of helping, do that first. Maybe if I had used it before, Dad might still be here. Daniel, you didn't even know. That shit was out of your control. But look what happened to the policeman. Maybe this power is a curse or something. Hey. We have no clue what happened. And it's not your fault. <coughs> Don't worry, Mushroom. I'm okay. Good puppy. <sighs> she must be hungry. What about you? I'm always hungry. <laughs> then let's grub out. I'll make us some dinner. <laughs> yeah. Before she eats us. <laughs> Ready for today's training, puppy? <laughs> sit. Shroom, sit. Seriously, girl. Sit. Mushroom, sit, girl. <gasps> Are you kidding me? You just don't know how to talk to her. <sighs> I'll remember this, traitor. Hey, Shroom. You thirsty? <laughs> Good girl. Here we go. Hold on, Mushroom. We're gonna build a fire. We're so lucky this thing is still working. Better talk to Daniel after dinner. I wish we had a big fireplace. Like in Seattle. Remember? Of course I remember. You always got sick on s'mores and ruined the toilet. Yeah. I miss that time. I know. girl let's get back in <sighs> okay dinner's ready
getting sick of ravioli. This is real food. It's better than nothing. I'm just tired of the same thing. Do you want it, Mushroom? Bon appetit, Mushroom. Man, she loves this stuff. Sorry, I'm cool. Hold on. I need to show you something. Um, okay. Okay. I think it's time for us to hit the road. You're not getting better. We're almost out of supplies. No, I'm okay. <coughs> it's just a cough. Yeah, a bad cough that won't go away. <sighs> Trust me, Daniel. You need some medicine. Look, here. Beaver Creek? What's that? That's where Karen's parents our grandparents live. Okay. So what? So we can go there and they'll probably help us. Why do you always force us to run, Sean? What if they don't like- They're family, right? Plus they owe us for what Karen, for what mom did. Um, you sure? It would be cool to spend Christmas with our grandparents. Man, they're gonna love you. Grandpa's super cool and I'm sure you guys will be best buds. Well, okay. But Mushroom has to agree too. She's part of the team. What do you say, girl? <laughs> Okay, when? Tomorrow. The sooner the better. We have a long road ahead. Hmm. We should do something fun for our last night here. How about a game of dice? If I win, I get to draw on your backpack. You know I'm gonna win and draw a dick on your bag, right? <laughs> I don't think so, loser. Party time. Okay. Ready to lose, Captain? Watch your butt, matey. You remember that time I beat Dad at chess? <laughs> you mean, we beat Dad. Yeah, you did help me distract them. <laughs> I bet he would have liked this game. <sighs> Definitely. He was a great pirate. And I win. Do you know what it means? <sighs> yeah, okay. You want it. Here's my bag. Mmm, let's see. Finished. A poop? Really? Yeah. It suits you. Well, thank you very much. So, let's do another one? It's bedtime. Gotta get up early. I'm gonna finish my comic book. She has to pee. Okay, okay. I'll take her out for a walk. You're going to smoke. Gross. You're right. Don't smoke. But it's our last night, so we can do anything. <sighs> all right, all right. I heard you the first time, dude.
Hey, Daniel. How are you doing? It sucks. I'm coming. Mushroom wants to go out. Don't you hear? Yeah, sorry. Move. So, what's going on? It doesn't fit in. There's too much stuff. It's fucking bullshit. Okay, no more swearing. Sure. Like you're always polite. Come on. Chill out. What did you pack in? What the f- Dude, you can't fit the whole room in. Don't worry. Your super strong big brother can help. Awesome. Thanks, Sean. Well, looks like we're almost set. Where's Mushroom? Still peeing, I guess? I'm gonna check what she's up to. <sighs> okay, I'll fill up our bottles and I'll catch up with you guys. Okay, all done. Where the hell is he? Daniel! Daniel! Hey, you out here? Daniel! Where is he? What the fuck happened here? That's not good. Daniel? Oh shit. Daniel! Do not move. It killed her! She was my friend! Calm down, okay? Listen. Leave me alone! No! You killed my dog! Fuck! Daniel! It just. to protect us. I... Save your strength. We'll... figure it out. It's all right. I'm right here. Here, you should do it. Is that it? 
Well, unless you want to say something. Uh, goodbye, Mushroom. You were such a good puppy. I'll always remember running through the snow with you and how you, you snuggled. And I'll never forget you. Never. So long, Shroom. You won't be forgotten. Sean, do you think she's up in heaven? With Dad? Yeah. I'm sure he will look after her. Wait. What about his allergies? <sighs> Don't worry, Nana. There's no allergies up there. They'll be fine together. Okay. We should go. It's getting late. Sean. I'm sorry I killed the cat. I don't know what I was thinking. If only I could. I know. Come on, buddy. Wish we didn't have to go. I'd like having a house again. Come on. Let's hit the road. What about my traps? Should we leave them up? They'll protect the next runaways to stay here. Bye, Lord Snowman. You look after our mushroom. <laughs> so long, my dudes.
<sighs> we made it, Daniel. It's been a long time since I was here. When was that? Before you were born. Come here. Let me check you out. Claire likes everything super clean. Dad said she got pissed because he let me bring a snowball in the house. We don't want to look like total pigs. Or, or something. We'll figure out something. Yes, we hear you. I'm sorry, we don't want any of... Hello, Claire. Sean? Oh my. Is that... Daniel? What's going on out here? I heard... Look who's here! After all this time. What the hell are you doing here? Stephen, watch your mouth. Well... It's kind of a long story. <coughs> oh, you poor thing. You know he's sick, right? Yeah, but... Okay, inside. Both of you. Hey, is it, uh, warm enough for you? Oh, yeah. Feels nice and toasty. I gave Daniel some cough medicine, but you should have taken better care of him. He could have been worse. You were lucky. Stephen, may I talk to you for a second? All right, Stephen. Are you all right, honey? You want more tea? Thanks. I'm good. Uh, well, Sean, uh, do you want to talk about... Uh, uh... The police called us a few weeks ago. They're looking for you as suspects in a homicide and for assault and robbery in a gas station. Now, it... If you want us to help you, did you hurt that police officer in Seattle? Seriously? You really think I killed that cop? No, don't, don't get mad, Sean. We have to ask. We only know what we saw in the news. All I know is that he shot dead. And now he's gone. Oh, sweetie. We are so sorry for what happened to your father, but why did you run away if you're innocent? We had no choice. The cops would have blamed me for everything. I know it. Well, Sean, now the police do blame you. You know the police would separate us. Maybe forever. Daniel would end up in foster care. You, you can't be sure, Sean. Anyway, at least you've managed to come here alive. We're glad you two are okay. I hate to think what could have happened to both of you. You need to think of long-term solutions now. I tried. I swear. But I can't do everything. 
So, what are your plans? I'm trying to figure it out. I just want to watch out for Daniel. Wait for him to get better. Before we take the road again. How can you look out for your brother if you're both running from the police? You two are gonna stay with us. Oh, Stephen. Maybe we should... After your mother left, your dad never really wanted us in your life. I can't blame him. But you're still part of our family, and uh, we want to prove it, okay? Seriously? That's really nice, Stephen. Thank you. Okay, but we have to lay down the rules of the house. No mess, no noise, or no service. The biggest rule is keep your heads low around here. Beaver Creek is small and nosy and nosy. We can stay? Serious? Awesome! Ooh, Sean, guess what? There's a huge model train upstairs. Hey, you're supposed to be resting, young man. Yeah, yes he is, but he seems better already. Anyway, you and Daniel will stay here, at least until Daniel's better. We'll see what happens next. So, I bet you're hungry. Let me fix you something. How do you feel, Superwolf? Way better. It's nice and warm in here. And the food? Yum. Yeah. Feels good. Feeling better? You look cozy. Yeah. I love that bed. Mm. Thanks, Grandma. Good. Your temperature is down. I'm way better now. You still need to take it easy. How about if we say a little prayer and, and give thanks? It's like a bedtime story, right? Well, this is a bit like this, yes. Except the story comes from up there. <laughs> the ceiling. <laughs> so are we ready to pray? Just follow my lead. Sure. We need all the help we can get. Can you ask the blessed dad? And Sean? Um, and Mushroom, and you and Grandpa, and, uh, everybody else. Oh my, you are so sweet. Thank you, Lord, for bringing Sean and Daniel safe and sound into our house. Take care of Esteban and, uh, Mushroom. Please, give us the strength to get over the hardships of the past and the trials yet to come. Amen. 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 Okay, it's bedtime. Try to get some rest. You still need it. And no roughhousing in here. No worries. We're too tired. Good night. Oh, and thanks again. Good night, Grandma. It feels so nice to have a bed again. And a bathroom. I hear that. <laughs> Plus, you don't smell anymore. Whatever. Well, Claire seems pretty caring and nice. I guess Steven is too. I hope we'll be fine here. I think so. 
And the more important thing is you'll have time to get better. Sean? Are we in Mom's old room? Nah, I don't think this is the one. Not from what I remember. But it's been a while. Could we check it out tomorrow? Maybe find some of her stuff? Why would you want to do that? I just don't know anything about her. Daniel, I understand. But we need to focus on where we are now and where we're off to. Mom left us. She made her choice. We gotta make ours. And we can't keep going back. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I guess. Hey, man. You've been doing so great with your... Well... You know. I was wondering... How do you do it? Uh... I don't know. I concentrate and... It just happens. Wait. Does it hurt? Nah. It's kinda itchy though. And exhausting. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway... Remember the rules, right? We really don't want Claire or Stephen to start asking questions. I know, I know. Don't show, don't talk. Just keep that in mind and everything should be fine. Sleep tight, little cub. All right, I'm allowed to go out now. Sean! Finally. Sean, are you awake? Breakfast almost done, so come down when you're ready, okay? Okay! What's up? Ah, look who's here. But uh, you're too late for the 915 Express. <laughs> um, it's okay. I'll take the next one. It will leave after breakfast. Don't be late this time. <laughs> I won't. Oh my, look who's awake. Daniel, mm. breakfast time. Your brother is ready. <sighs> Grandpa, show me your pop star. Steven, your grandson needs to eat now. You can show him the boxcar later. I love how they're getting along. Do you need help or anything? Oh, don't worry. I can do this in the dark. <laughs> but thanks for the offer. All right, all right. Are you boys done playing? We had a express delivery with the passengers. But the engine broke down. Yep, has to go straight to the workshop. Good. No trains in the kitchen, remember? Gotcha, Chief. Choo-choo! <laughs> oh, sugar. He can fix his trains, but not my kitchen. Did I make enough? Everything's okay? It's great, as usual. You're the best cook ever. Looks like you're getting cozy with this new country life after all. Yeah, it's nice to be far away from everything. 
feels like we're the only ones out here. Well, that's exactly why we love it. It feels safe, unlike the big city. I get it. I like it. It's cool here. Well, bless your soul. You'd get along good with our neighbors. We try to lend a hand, like to Charles next door. He lost his wife, and things have been hard on him and his son. He would just get lost in Seattle. But we're all taking care of him here. How old is his son? I, I think he's your age. Ooh, cool. going on back there? Nothing. Oh, <laughs> I thought Stephen was a fast eater. Hey, Grandma, I wanted to ask you something about that locked room upstairs. I told you there is nothing to see in it, Daniel. Why were you in it this morning, then? Because there's a lot of old junk in there, and... Besides, it's not safe for you to explore, okay? But we'll be fine. Why don't you go explore outside? You sure look like you're getting better. Get some fresh air. I'll wait for Sean, and then we'll go. We won't be loud. Promise. But be careful nobody sees you. Stay in the back, okay? Maybe you should tell him that it was Karen's room. It's just a room now, Sean. Nothing to see. Why lock it then? It feels like you're hiding something. There's no secret. We just want to move on with our lives, Sean. So nobody goes in the room, okay? I'm serious. Did Mom ever contact you? She only talked to Dad a few times. Then she was gone. Yes, she was. You know, Sean, I don't really want to talk about this anymore. It's over. Anyway, you have to respect my rules under my roof, okay? Of course. Always. I appreciate that, Sean. Now you better go find your brother. There's a shed with some old toys outside. I'll bet Stephen has the key. Danny will freak. Thank you. Hey. Claire? What's on your mind, Sean? What did you think of Dad? You can tell me. I won't get mad. Well, your father was... Uh, he was his own person. That's it? I mean, I know you guys didn't really get along. It's just... Esteban was very different from us. And he never took a single step to change any of that. Did you? I wish we would have. Some bridges you can't cross. I can only live with regrets now. Don't worry. You guys taking care of us is all he would have wanted. That's a very kind thing of you to say, Sean. Thank you. Do you know anything about Dad's funeral? There was a service. We couldn't make it in time, but we sent flowers. I'm sorry, Sean. <sighs> it's okay. I just want to make sure somebody took care of him. Hopefully, you can go visit him at some point. At some point? Yeah. How long have you and Stephen been married? Oh, my. Forever. <laughs> but a good forever. 
Almost 40 years. Man, that's more than twice my age. You both were married during Y2K. Thanks for making me feel even older. I assume you must have a girlfriend or... Not really. I'm not much of a player. With all this going on, I... I don't even think about that stuff. I understand. I'm sorry, honey. It's not fair that you have to deal with all this. Things will change. I hope. What's the story with your neighbor? Charles? Oh, poor man used to be a basketball coach, but had to move out here after his wife's passing. He's got a job at the rail yard now, and, well, he's still recovering. Wow. I mean, that's sad. We tried to give him a hand, keep an eye on his drinking problem. His son Chris is a little angel, though. I think he could be a good influence on Daniel. This boy has spent too much time on the road. Yeah, and I'm not always the best role model. Well, thanks, Claire. You are very welcome. Hmm, think I need a handy assistant. Can you hand me the glue in the cupboard? Whoa, careful. Sorry, I, I forgot. That thing isn't too stable. Let me just... Uh, okay, sorry. My fault. Your grandmother keeps telling me, but uh, I'm a lazy old man. Hey, uh, can you close the door? I want to talk for a second. Oh. Uh, it's the power cable, of course. Yeah, it happens all the time. So, listen, I've uh, noticed things with Daniel. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Um, not really. What things? Well, I, I'm not sure how to put it. Like, some kind of invisible force. Like the holy gift or something. Um, yeah. Daniel likes to pretend he's got superpowers, but that's it. That's it? Okay. But be careful, Sean. You know, he's still so young. Sure. And by the way, let's keep this between us. Claire has a lot of strong beliefs. She wouldn't understand. She adores Daniel, and just wants both of you to be safe and happy. What I'm trying to say is, maybe you should stay here with us. I know you boys plan to run to Mexico, but... Thanks. Maybe we could, but... <sighs> Why not? I know, being out here in the sticks with us old farts isn't exciting, but this is your home now. It's cool. Kind of different, but... I just don't want you to get into trouble because of us. It's dangerous to be on the road. Do you think your father would have wanted this for his kids? Of course not. But everything's different now. I know. I know. Well, just think about it. But don't torture yourself. I will. Hey, uh... Claire said you had the keys for the tool shed? Oh, uh, sure. <clears throat> Here. You guys enjoy the sun. And be careful with that shed. It's probably a mess inside. Thanks. Oh, God. you found this. I, uh, I just forgot to, uh... It's okay. It's been a while since I've seen her face. 
Uh, yeah. I like taking a look at it from time to time. Doesn't it hurt? Yeah, it does. But she's still my daughter, you know? I can't approve what she's done, but I... I, uh, I think I understand. Good. I don't. Well, yeah, I'm sorry, Jean. Please don't... Uh, please don't say anything to Claire about this, okay? Don't worry. I won't. Oh, there you are, Sean. Got the key? Hey. I have to go out and run some errands. Can you do me a big favor? Do you know how to work a washing machine? Since I was about eight. Of course. Can you throw in yours and your brother's clothes after the next load? They're in the bathroom basket. Totally, yeah. Um, no problem. Thank you so much. <laughs> Feel free to start tidying your stuff, too. It's good for the health to keep a house clean. Definitely. Daniel can help. Ah, and remember, for your own safety, no phone and no internet. I know, I know, boring rules. Don't worry, Claire. Hey, Daniel! There's work for you. Uh, no. I'm busy. D busy my ass! Come over here. I know you're in there. Gotcha! What the? Behind you! Yeah. Very funny. No more hiding. Seriously. Okay, okay. What do I have to do? You tidy the mess in our room, and I take care of the laundry. Cool? Again? We always have to clean everything. I don't wanna. Yeah, I hear you. Never mind, okay? Cool. Thanks, Sean. All right. Let's get it over with. How many programs does this thing have? Okay. It will do. Hey, Daniel. Can you... show me the fish? Easy. Just watch. See? Hello, little guy. Oh, he's beautiful. Hey, do you think you can fix that? Gee, that's pretty small. Let me try. I did it! Hey, check out the sail. So this was Mom's ship? I don't know, man. I guess. Okay, time to burn off some calories. What do you say? Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! <sighs> Get ready for storage wars. <gasps> What's wrong? Frozen shut. Of course. Sean, look! What? We just got here. Are you okay? Uh, yeah. Uh, I didn't see anything either. Oh, uh, oh, oh. Okay, I just fell down into the snow. Dad says I'm kind of clumsy. That's an awesome costume. Who's your favorite superhero? I love Power, Power Bear. Bear. 
<laughs> oh man! I have the Mega Power Bear. You should check it out. Dude, that's so cool. Chris, oh God. Look, I, I am so sorry. Are you okay? Uh, Dad, I'm fine. I promise. Are, are you sure? Listen, I shouldn't... Do you know them? It it's okay, Dad. They're cool. He loves superheroes, even Power Bear. Ah, gotcha. Hey there. Are you staying with the Reynolds? Um, yeah. Uh, but not for long. We're just passing by. Uh, I see. Oh, jeez, Chris. You don't have any damn shoes on. I'm sorry, buddy. Let's get you inside. I... Uh... Yeah. Okay, Dad. Thanks, guys. Oh, and, uh, if Claire asks, tell her everything is... Sure. Uh, no problem. Cool. See you around, then. Thanks, guys. See you later? Yes, we will. <sighs> Daniel! Did you forget everything about the rules already? Sorry, Sean. Did you want me to let him fall? Really? No, you... You did the right thing. But listen, we can't let anybody know. We have to keep a low profile out here. He's like my age. I bet you would have done the same as that thing. Don't be mad. I'm not mad, dude. It's over. Daniel, remember that we're hiding out. So no training and no showing off your power. From now on, you stick with me all the time, okay? Fuck. That kid never listens. Well, I guess they won't be back for at least two hours. Jeez. Steven went search crazy on us. Look at this. These articles are almost a month old. Maybe they stopped looking for us? What the hell is this? I had no idea Steven could fall for this bullshit conspiracy theories. Well, Brody, if we ever make it home, wherever that is, you'll be much, much welcome. Okay, let's get this brack back home now. Daniel, what's going on here? Sean, wait, don't freak out. I can't explain. Let me tell him. Sean, I know it sounds crazy, but I have a superpower. You saw me yesterday. I know you did. I was flying. I can move things, objects. With my mind. Oh, a superpower. Really? Yes. Great. And you don't realize what that implies? Everyone can see you from the outside. You could get in real trouble. This is dangerous. Do you understand? Yes. We hear you. We promise to be careful. This is just our secret, okay? Nobody can find out I'm the real Captain Spirit. And nobody will. Ever. Now you're an official member of the Spirit Squad. If you betray us, I'll disintegrate you. <laughs> nah, just kidding. 
Oh, yeah, we need a... Team Signal. Totally. I'm going to be Super Wolf. What's your super name, Sean? I don't know. Something cool like El Diezblo Loco. Mm, sounds like a super villain's name, but okay. Okay, guys, I think we're ready to roll. Uh, excuse me. Who are you? I'm Sean. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, sorry, man. You're here for Daniel. Hey, let's make it official. I'm Charles Erickson. Nice to meet you. Hope you know that Daniel and Chris are a dangerous team. We better watch out, or they're gonna take over the world. Yeah. They share a lot of things. As thick as thieves. Can we go get the Christmas tree now? We're both ready to fly. Yes, yes, yes. The, the team has been waiting too long. Hey, you should come along too. There's nothing going on over here. Yes! Can't wait to see all the decorations. And Sean, we could buy Christmas presents for Grandma and Grandpa. Well, they'll worry if we leave the house. And remember, you still have to get better, Daniel. Sean, come on. Why do you always have to be a party pooper? It's the first time I've been out for days. We won't be gone for long. The market's only a few miles away. Anyway, they'll be at the service for at least another hour. Yeah, Sean, I can show Daniel around. You can come with us. Please say yes. Please, please, please. <sighs> okay, you win. Not a fair fight. So let's go. <laughs> yes! Yeah! See? Dangerous. Okay, team, uh, give me a time out to clean up the back seat. I'll honk when I'm done. Ooh, uh, can I use the bathroom? Of course. Oh, you'll see my comic books. I'm glad you're coming, too. Hey, you want to see my toys? Oh, score! The new hot dog man? Since you're a new member of the team, you have to know everybody. These are Captain Spear's friends and his enemies. Dude, that's pretty cool. Can you guess who are the good guys and the villains? Let's see. How did I do? Not bad. You're almost right. It was a bit tricky. Okay. Let me introduce them to you. This is Team Spirit, the good guys. There's the Forest Warrior, Power Bear, Marty Rex, and Sky Pirate. So, who are the bad guys? That's Noctarius and the Shark Stinger. There's also Snowmancer, but he's out in the garden. Captain Spirit kinda took care of him. He might need a little surgery now. But they're all working for Mantroy, who is the real supervillain. You should see his evil planet. Why doesn't Captain Spirit stop him? He tried, but failed. That's why he needs Super Wolf. You know, Daniel, to prevent Mantroid from hurting other people. <laughs> yeah, strength in numbers. Sounds like Mantroid is in trouble. Just wait until he sees what Captain Spirit can do now. Yeah, about that. Does your dad know about any of this? Did he see something yesterday? No, he didn't see anything, and the power didn't work yesterday. After I fell. I uh, must have been too tired. Okay, good. Um, I mean, he could be pretty disturbed if he knew. I'm definitely not telling Dad. I don't want to freak him out. He's worried about other stuff anyway. Chris, it's none of my business, but are you and your dad okay? Uh, what do you mean? I don't know. Um, Claire seems to be worried about you guys. Claire's always worried. We're cool. Totally. He's just... He has a hard time being on his own. That's all. Chris. I know life can get pretty tough. Trust me. But... You'll be okay. 
You're an awesome kid. Thanks, Sean. But I don't feel scared anymore. I have the power. And I have Daniel. There's the signal. Come on, Daniel. Hey! Pro tip. Don't go in there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, squad. Let's roll. You need my jacket? I, I don't want you catching another cold. No, I'm good. Thanks. And don't be waving your arms around when I'm driving, okay? <laughs> yeah. Um, remember, Daniel, don't mess around. All right. Jeez. Thanks for clearing the snow from the porch. You're, you're awesome. You're welcome, Dad. Okay, buddy. You ready? Yeah. <clears throat> hey! You guys go ahead and we'll come back to meet you, okay? Brothers meeting. Sure. But... Don't get lost. Dude, what the fuck are you doing? I can't believe it. How many times do we have to keep going over the rules? Don't show the power. I know. But Chris thinks he can do all this cool stuff. I wish he could. He reminds me of Noah. I just miss having friends, Sean. I know, man. But you can't lie to friends about something like this. He could get in trouble thinking he can make shit fly. Or he could get hurt. So you want me to tell him the truth? Well, I don't want you to lie anymore. You don't have to tell him everything. But don't let him think he has magic powers, okay? You swear? Okay. I swear. Deal. I'm counting on you, Anano. Can I go see Chris now? Yeah, let's go. But don't forget what I said. Uh, nothing. I'll tell you later. So, what do we do? We have to pick the one we like. Can Daniel help, Dad? Of course he can. Awesome. Come on, no time to lose. Okay, just pick the one you like and come get me. Deal? Deal. Is that a yo-yo? Daniel had one back home. I... I know it sucks, but... Daniel deserves it, too. Right? Hey. Hi. Good morning, young man. It's nice to see a new face in this old town. Thanks. It's a super cool market you got here. Small towns are the best for Christmas. Who are you staying with? Oh, I'm at the... Ericsson's. Ooh, you're with Charles? That's good. Didn't know he had any relatives. He's, um... My uncle, but, uh... Long time no see. You know? Sure, sure. I thought it was just him and his son. Glad he's got you around now. Anyway, welcome to Beaver Creek. If you need anything, just holler. Can I get one of these... bears? Sure. Our best seller this year. Cool. Here you go. Thanks. Anything else? No. I'm good. Have a nice day, then. Yeah, you too. Thanks. Amongst the quiet things 
Captain Spirit and Super Wolf. <laughs> Pretty rad for a Hollywood name. <laughs> yeah. I'll think about it. Hey, Anyone? can you add something funny to your drawing? Funny? Like what? Uh, I don't know. Something cool. Uh, okay. Mm, what about a giant spaceship flying over Beaver Creek? I hope I can draw like you one day. I'm sure you will, man. It's me, it's me, you've come to take my two. Hey. Ha! <laughs> well, finally. Someone who dares speaking with me. Hope you're vaccinated. What? Uh, no, I mean... <laughs> I'm just messing with you. It's nice to chat for a change. Me and my friends have been crashing here for the week. Nobody gives a shit about us. Yeah, I can tell you're not from around here. Kinda. That sounds... Complicated. Trauma? Yeah. Lots. Huh. Yeah, I hear that. Way too much. What about you and your friends? Road trip? Uh, <laughs> not really. We kind of hop from place to place, hunting for little jobs. And... <sighs> Must be a long ride. That's okay. We hop on trains. Gives us time to rest. Man, that sounds wicked. <sighs> you have no idea. It's free and so fucking fun. Well, unless you get caught or fall, but we've been lucky so far. That's the best. Nobody tells us what to do. No corporation owns us. <gasps> And you get to see so many cool places. Exactly. Next stop is Humboldt County, California. <laughs> Stoner break. Not even close. We actually got work over there. Sean, what are you doing? We picked the tree with Chris. It's all crooked like an old witch. Oh, hi. Who are you? Ooh, your hair looks so cool. Is it a wig? Uh, well... What do you think? Hmm. I don't know, but it's really cool. I'm Daniel. What's your name? Hi, Daniel. I'm Cassidy. I dig your superhero outfit. I'm on a secret mission with my friend. It's very dangerous. I can tell. I hope you get your mission accomplished. <laughs> and what's your name? Oh, uh, Sean. I... I thought I told you. No, you did. Sorry, you went through some shit with the guys. How much you make? You ready? Hello, pups. Oh, is that your doggy? So cool. Yeah, he's been through a lot. Like most of us. So we adopted him. And he stinks. Yeah, you stink and you like it, huh? <laughs> Well, he's not the only one. Have you checked your hair? I think it just twitched. You should keep your distance, dude. She looks really cool, I think. See? He knows I'm clean. You're the nasty one. Yeah, you always go for those suburban boys. <laughs> Are you kidding? You want to talk about your scoreboard, Hotshot? Hey, no worries. Come on, let's bail. It was nice meeting you, Sean and Daniel. Stay out of trouble, Goodbye. kids. Bye. Hope we see you on the rails someday. Yeah. See you around. Your doggy was so cute. I miss Mushroom. I miss her too. Hey, excuse me. Dogs have to be on a leash around here. Too many strays. <laughs> Sorry, dude. We don't do leashes. Well, the city does. An unleashed dog is liable to a fine, so... Uh, you're gonna fine our dog? Well, that's not very nice. Loitering is illegal, too. And you don't live here, right? Right? Calm down, sweetie. We're allowed to visit the Christmas market. 
My dog's not going to eat you. Look at him. You better watch your mouth. You punks are always causing trouble. This is a nice town, okay? Jeez. Someone needs to get laid. <laughs> He's out of pills. That's it. I'm calling the cops. <laughs> oh, God. He's going to call the cops on us, Finn. Chill out. We're leaving this shithole anyway. You guys don't even have a Santa, for Christ's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. Fucking parasites. Why did they fight? I don't know why he yelled like that. We should kick his ass, Sean. See the snow on that booth? Yeah. What about it? Maybe this guy needs a shower. You know? To cool him down. <laughs> You're right. Hold on. Careful. Careful. <laughs> this will teach him. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Come on. <sighs> Hope that I'll actually make someone happy. Hey, you guys ready to go? Yeah. All done. Cool. <laughs> Hop in. Are you having too much fun back there? Yeah. That's what I thought. like Daniel found a new brother. <laughs> no kidding. He dumped me like a rock. I'm glad you two came along. It's great that Chris found a new friend out here. It looks like you did too. What's her name? Who? <sighs> Come on, don't play me. That cutie you were talking to by the market. Oh, yeah. That girl. She just wanted some money. Don't we all? Anyway, Got ya. <laughs> it's good for me to get out, too. We've had a rough time over the past couple of years. My wife, Emily, she died two years ago. Obviously, uh, it was tough on Chris. Shit. Uh, I'm sorry, man. Thanks. It's been a struggle. Especially trying to be a good dad. You're doing your best. Chris is awesome. And he's got a wonderful imagination. Well, thanks for saying that. Chris does have talent. <laughs> he's a storyteller. Yeah. He showed up when I was drawing at the market. <laughs> he gave me some tips. You two seem to get along well. I mean, you really look out for him. I realize I'm far from being up to the task. Chris deserves a real family. Anyway, I shouldn't have brought this up, okay? Forget it. No worries. Didn't mean to make you feel bad. We all have our ups and downs, right? That's how life works. Your grandparents sure did have their share of downs, too. But they're always there for us. For Chris. They seem like good people. Claire is... hard. A little bit of a control freak. I know Claire likes things to go her way. Or the highway. Yeah. Sorry for bringing that up. It's okay. I hope they don't stress out because we haven't come back. Uh, yeah, we should get you two home. Uh, don't keep them waiting. Yeah. 
<laughs> hey, buddy. Uh, want to set up that Christmas tree? Yeah! Well, I'll get there before you with my dad mobile. <laughs> no way you can beat Captain Spirit. <laughs> See you later, Super Wolf. Hello? Hello? Claire? Steven? Looks like Grandma and Grandpa haven't come back from church yet. Well, at least they won't yell at us for going out. That was so cool to spend time with Chris at the market. So, did you set things straight with him? Told him the truth? Yeah, yeah, I did. Did you know Chris's mom was an artist? I didn't. How so? She drew comics. You should see her drawings. They're so cool. Just like yours. Thanks, dude. Hey. Uh... What? What is it? Sean? I want to go check on the room. Upstairs. I know it's mom's. Please. Daniel, you heard Claire. They will freak out if they know we went inside. We won't tell them. We'll be in total stealth mode. They won't know anything if we make it quick. It's just... I really want to know what's inside. What kind of stuff she had. Chris has tons of things that belong to his mom. And I have nothing. Come on, Sean. You don't even have to come with me. If you don't want to. <sighs> Fuck it. I'll come with you, so you don't make a mess and get us caught. I could just blow this stupid door up with my power. That looks super easy. <sighs> yeah, I could do that with a hammer. But let's try and find the key instead, alright? Hey, I think that's the cardigan Claire was wearing yesterday. Yes. I found one key, so... Better fit. Just try it. Wow. There's not that much left. Where do you think they put the rest of her stuff? It's her teenage room. I'm sure she sorted through her things before leaving for Seattle. Why would Claire lock these up in here? Is that for Mom? Huh? Let me see- Daniel! Come on. What's it say? Read it! Seriously, stop! Here, how about this? I've heard the news about Seattle. Please help my boys if they come to you. What? Why did they hide this from us? I don't know. You can reach me at, at this address. It's a P.O. box I use sometimes. What's a P.O. box? Well... A cop-out, in this case. I beg you, please help my sons. Oh yeah, right. Total bullshit. What do you mean? She cares about us. Well, I don't. Maybe she changed her mind. We could try and contact her. You don't even know her, okay? Don't get any wrong ideas. We should just... Stick to our plan. For now. Can I read it again? Yeah. Then we gotta go. Thank goodness. Oh. Oh, shit. Excuse me. What are you both doing in here? 
Except visibly. Ransacking our house while we're at church? We were just looking. For answers. And, uh... Was it worth stealing my key? Claire, please. Calm down. No, Stephen. They went way out of line here. We specifically told you to stay out of this room. I have room. the right to see my mom's room. This isn't her room anymore. There is nothing to see in here. It's time you learned to respect some rules. Actually, we did find something. Yeah, we found a new letter from my mom. She said she wants to see us. But you didn't even tell us. She's not my daughter anymore, or your mother. She burned all those bridges. One letter doesn't change what she did to me, all of us. She is not welcome back. Just don't blame us for being curious about her. But I know her better than anybody. She hasn't changed, she just feels guilty. I can't hear that. <sighs> Listen, Sean. I know life has been tough on you the past month. Bless your souls. And, and we put up with a lot of things. But that going through our stuff, our personal belongings, well, that shows you don't respect us. We could go to jail just for helping you. This is how you pay us back? Well, things are just going to change around here if you want to stay. Man, I think I see why Mom left now. She couldn't put up with your stupid rules anymore. Oh, so that's what you think. Then let me tell you something. Huh? <gasps> Steven! Oh, shit! Get this goddamn thing off me! Steven, no! Hold on, honey, we'll get it off! No! Stop! Oh, my legs! Do it, Daniel! Now! Do what? What's going on? Oh, Lord, what... What are you doing, Daniel? Oh, my baby, Stephen, are you okay? No, I am. Thanks to Daniel. You were right, Claire. I should have fixed that cupboard months ago. I guess my laziness will get me someday. What in the name of God was that all about? That's impossible. What are you, Daniel? Claire. Listen, they saved me, Claire. That's all that matters. Maybe it was a miracle. Oh, thank you, Lord. It's, it's the sheriff. Stephen? Claire? Sean, I didn't. We didn't call them. I know, Grandma. Today. Sean, what are we gonna do? Go hide in the garage. No, no, no way. If the police searches the house, that makes the two of you accomplices. Get your bags and go out the back door. I'll distract him. Really? Yes. No. Steven. Get the hell out of here. I know you're in here. Your car is in the driveway. I'm so sorry for everything. I wish we could have helped you more. I wish you could stay here with us. Watch out for your brother, Sean. Yes. Be careful. We'll see you as soon as we can, okay? Thanks for helping us. Both of you. Oh, we love you. Now hurry up. Daniel, wait for me while I go upstairs.
Move your ass, bro. Shit. This way. Wait, uh, covered fell on him? Man, Chris must be so mad at me. I could tell he was pissed when he saw I had the power. You get over it. You saved his life. He... he thinks I'm a liar now. He's a smart kid. He's not gonna stay mad. You guys are the... spirit squad, right? I hope so. Sean. I'm tired of running away. Why does my power always bring trouble? You don't have to use your power if you don't want to. But I'm good with it. And I'm the only one who can do these things. I know, but Daniel, you need to be careful. And listen to your brother. You think we'll see Grandma and Grandpa again? I don't know. We'll see. Where are we gonna go now? See... See Mom? No way, man. We don't need her, okay? But... She said she wanted to find us. We stick to the plan. We go to Puerto Lobos. That's where we belong. No one will tell us what to do. We can be whoever we want. Y you think? I don't know. Trust me, man. From now on, we make our own rules. Look, I even got you a present. Merry Christmas, Enano. For real? But it's in two weeks. Who cares? Dates are boring. Here. It's all for me? Awesome. Early Christmas is the best. Hey. I got something for you two. I wanted to finish it, but we're doing it now, so. Oh, man. That's so cool. Hey. Listen. There's a ride. Come on. All aboard.
Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They all lived happily together, but one day, hunters took their dad away. Forever. So now the brothers were alone. And they had to find a new home. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. And then they worked together to learn how to use his power and to follow the rules for them. They discovered a secret hideout where they could train day and night. They were happy. But the little wolf got very sick. So they had to move on. On the way, a deadly predator attacked them. But the little one destroyed it using his power. They decided to journey to the home of their nearby ancestors to seek help. Finally, the tired and hungry brothers made it to the home of their ancestors. The old wolves invited them to stay. They even took care of them. They were happy to have a safe, warm place to rest. The little wolf even made friends with a raccoon. And together, they went on awesome adventures. Unfortunately, hunters were hot on their trail and found them. But the tiny raccoon helped the brothers escape and almost got hurt. The brothers had nowhere to stay again, so they decided to keep going south, to the distant homeland of their Papa Wolf. Daniel, get your ass over here now! <sighs> He's so busted. Of course. Like, I want to play fucking hide-and-seek. Oh, no time for this. Where are you? Whoa, hold on! <gasps> Let go! S stop it! Dude! 
I told you to stay out of my room. Ow! That hurt! Yeah, I'm not fucking around anymore. Got it? Are you listening now? Thou shall not enter thy brother's room. What the fuck? Nice job. You started it, butthole. What is this crap? Are you fighting again? You proud of yourself? Stop it! Enough! Getting tired of this. Sean, what happened? Now! Dad, I told him not to come so into my room. And, he never listens. He hit me and broke the trophy. He's lying. He always does that when he gets busted. Little shit. Enough! You both better listen because I'm tired of this crap. Okay? This is my house too, not your playground. You hear me? Jeez. You guys are working my last nerve this week. You okay, mijo? I'm going to talk with your brother. You know the drill. Bedroom and no games. I didn't do anything! Uh-huh. Let's talk. Ugh, now. This is so stupid! It's bullshit! Okay. You really taught that book a lesson. You done? Hmm? Whatever. Like you're gonna believe me. Daniel's always right. Look. Please? <sighs> Listen, Sean. I can't do this on my own. I... I can't. I need you to help me. I know you don't want to babysit Daniel. You grow up. You need space. More freedom. I get it. But we're a trio now, and you gotta take some responsibility. That little shit is just a kid. You're almost an adult. I know that. And I do look out for him, I swear. But he's a little brat. So were you. And you had eight years of being spoiled before you had to share toys with your little brother. I know it might sound cheesy, but we have to be good role models for him. He's a Diaz, right? Okay, I hear you. I'll try to be super bro. Just try to be there for him, like you are now. Yes, <laughs> says mi hijo. I'm late for work. Go talk to your brother and work this drama out. We'll go to the movies tonight if you guys don't wreck the house. I know you love to hear this. But I'm proud of you. Both of you. Okay. Get back to work. Can I come in? It's the big, bad brother. No! Stay out! I said no! Get out! Whatever! I'm not listening! La 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 la! I come don't on, hear dude. anything! La la la! Whoa! Don't know who drew this, but it's totally red. Hey, Daniel! Why are you pouting? A young space warrior should never pout. We need to stand strong against the enemy. Come on, man. I'm running out of punchlines here. Why are you still here? Hey, that's cool. Did you make it? Be careful. Whoa. It's fragile. No problem. Suddenly, you're Mr. Careful. <sighs> okay, if I sit down. <sighs> so, when did you get this? Last month. Dad said I should learn to do stuff by myself. Since you're not around as much. Hey, come on. It's not like I'm leaving home. 
You might as well. I never see you. We don't even play games anymore. We don't do anything. Daniel, I just... I want to hang out with my friends sometimes. You're going to be doing the same thing in a couple of years. Hi. I don't want to grow up. It's boring. Here. Sorry I took it. That's what you wanted? That stupid watch? You said you'd get me one. At the thrift store last week. But you forgot. Like before. Well, you better keep this watch then. Wow! Thanks, Sean! This is so cool! I'll keep it forever and ever. Hey, bedhead. Had a good sleep? Oh, uh, hi, uh, yeah, I, I did. Thanks. Nice. Okay, I better hit the shower before they use all the water. Right. <clears throat> See you around. Hey, Sean. Breakfast time. What? You hear that? Um, I heard nothing, Penny. Mm, maybe it was the coffee brewing. Never mind. You can't hear? Only me. I don't understand. Why? How you miss all those insects? How the fuck? The swarm is coming. You mean bugs? <laughs> I haven't seen many flying bugs. Not in the winter, at least. Sean. Sean. Narc, stealth drones, all that shit. Wake up, boy. Look up. You... saw them? When? How? Because Vision and Sean... they watching us now. That would be shit for me and Anders to lose the job. The cash is good for us to travel. So... then... where's your next pit stop? We want to see all the cowboys in Austin. But we spent too much money so far. Traveling is expensive. Depends how you travel. I mean, look at us. Cush, yeah. But not when they legalize that shit. Then you can work legal on the farm, right? Not if the government steps in. Then the pigs, pill pushers, all bad. It's legal in Washington. And it's worked out okay. It's gonna be legal everywhere. Soon, anyway. Legal but controlled. By who? The bitches who made it against the law. Yay, freedom! I don't know. Things have to change. Oh, um... Did anybody see Daniel? I haven't seen him this morning. I saw him walking with Finn. They were headed to the lake. Thanks, Ingrid. I... 
Better see what he's up to. Tell him no swimming. That lake is toxic, man. Nasty. What's up, Jake? Hey, Sean. Not much. What do you got going on there? Uh, this is a birthday card for my little sister. <sighs> Don't laugh. <laughs> That's cute. Where is she? Oh, uh, she's with my parents, of course. I, where else would a nine-year-old live? Oh, shoot, I mean... I didn't mean Daniel. I'm kind of jealous you get to hang out with your brother all the time. But I, I bet it's hard to be his brother and father figure. Yeah, just ask Daniel. He's nine going on 14. He's so tired of me right now. Ah, kids. Just ignore him and he'll be all over you. Hey, since you're such a pro big bro, what's a good way to end this letter? Goodbye sounds a bit lame, right? Well, what is she into? Like anime or video games? Uh, puppies? <laughs> she has a pet chicken named Alexander. <laughs> Sarah loves that thing, but it creeps me out. <laughs> <laughs> Why not draw a creepy portrait of Alexander? Good idea. It'll match my <laughs> chicken scratch perfectly. Anyway, thanks for your help, Sean. I gotta finish this before I get ready for work. Don't want to be late or Big Joe will eat me for lunch. You and me both. See you later, Jake. What I the should go fuck, check on them. man? You're awesome. Come on, once again. Yes, I'm the man. <laughs> Holy shit! That was dope! What's up, guys? Morning target practice? Six bullseyes in a row. Kid is a fucking ninja! Hey, we didn't want to wake your sleepy ass up. Yeah, thank you for that. You okay, Daniel? Hey, seriously. I've never seen anyone throw like that. Finn trained you well. Six bullseyes, dude? Yeah, I got better. Lucky. You can't throw a baseball without hitting me in the nuts. How did you learn to aim so good? Not true, liar. You're the one who sucks at baseball. Yeah, right. Hey, wow. What's up with you two? I should have let you know, but, but I'm watching him like a hawk. Seriously, much respect. He's like my own blood. And not that I'm as hot or cool as his big bro. Yo, Sean, idea. I want to see if Daniel inherited the family blade skills from you. How about a little demo? He can't do it. Come on, let's give the man a chance. Okay. Yeah. I'll take a shot. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Sean. Hold your right arm, yeah. more like this. Better alignment. Better aim. He just sucks at this. Dude, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Blam! <laughs> right between the fucking eyes. Damn. <laughs> oh! Did you guys escape from some circus? Mm. That was just luck. Seriously, that shit was off the chain. One time is luck. Second time is skill. So let's see. <laughs> oh, fuck that! <laughs> Miss, see, I rule. <laughs> Sorry, Sean. You're not a ninja. But you're still cool. Just ask your brother for help next time. <laughs> yeah. What would I do without him? Hey, don't look at me. It's not my fault if you can't throw. Woo! After that workout, I need some more fucking Java. Wait! Don't go yet? Ah, uh, it's all good, Daniel. We can practice later. Yeah, if it's cool with <laughs> Big Brother. <laughs> Love you, man. What now? You think that shit is funny? What shit? Stop acting stupid. You're pushing it, Daniel. You made me miss in front of Finn. What if he finds out, huh? What then? I'm not stupid. 
He won't find out. You don't know that. You're gonna get busted, Inano. You need to listen to me. Stop calling me that. I hate it. Daniel, don't... Why? See? Stop, Daniel. Now. Or what? I said stop, Daniel. Don't run me! Uh. Uh. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be that hard. I'm okay. It's fine. I told you. You're good. But you don't have control over your powers yet. Yeah, but we stopped training since we got here. You'd rather hang out with your new friends. Well, because we need to fit in if we want to keep that job, okay? But you're right. Let's, um, do some training later today. Cool? Yeah. Let's go by the lake again. But, Sean, how long are we gonna stay here? It's been like a month. I know, but we need more money to get to Puerto Lobos, remember? It's gonna take forever. We should try and find Mom, since we have her letter now. We already had this conversation. Sorry, Daniel, but we can't. We don't even know where Karen really is, and we can't risk getting caught we're looking for her. She's one of the reasons we're out here. That's why we're going down to Mexico. How come I never get to choose? I'm the one with the power. I hear you. It's not fair. But you're my brother. And my responsibility. I have to take care of you. I know. But I'm not going to be a kid forever. Finn treats me like an adult. He understands. Uh-oh. Big Joe. Hey, Daniel. Remember what I said. Low profile. <sighs> yeah. Okay. We're cool. I don't like working on a farm. I know. It could be way worse. We're making cash, you know. Okay, okay. Sit here, my man. I need a bodyguard like you. Cool. Tell Sean to get me a knife. You mind if I sit here? Sure. <laughs> Why so serious? Uh, nothing. Just thinking. Cool. I'm always worried about my city boy. Everyone here? This isn't a fucking school bus. We're late. Give me more booze, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. I don't bullshit you. Some gutter punk jump. You're not house. listening to anything I say. So I cut it Are you? Yeah. What? Jeez, yes, I am. Cut me too. The party. Oh, shit. Ooh, too Ouch. much sex, guys. Are you okay? Too much sex. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I was Two peas in a pod, me. these ones. I'll show you the battle score. Oh, oh, was so high time. last night. Hey, Sean Jellick. You, you He's a big boy now. Got to get out okay. of his way. <laughs> Smart. Yeah, if you get too clingy, people run away. I know what I'm talking hey, about. Who's the knife master I'm here? Guess. Did you lock the tent? You want to see stuff for showing that even? So. Rob, 
How do you feel? You went back for the lighter. Who knew this little tree market snowflake would end up here? <laughs> With us misfits. I actually feel free. It's been a long time. Thanks to you. I hope so. Finn and me had a bet how long you would last. Okay. don't hurt me. I lost. Ben, I'm, just, I'm glad you did. I can't get rid of you yet. Hey, I'm gonna shut the fuck up back there. I can't hear my music. Guess what? He was on his secret sap phone again this morning. Speaking Romanian and shit. Oh no. Here it comes. He's Agent 420. And he has a license to cook. <laughs> um, what's that? I told you a thousand times, Big Joe is a clone. They come from a factory of Silicon Valley. <laughs> Maybe he's just the factory reject. Meryl got a good deal on him. He's just a goon, guys. Bet he worked for some gang. Must have done something bad to end up here. Duh. Boring. <laughs> yeah, boring. Shit, you're all in love with Big Joe. You can't stop talking about him, I swear. But his ass is too big. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Come on. <sighs> yep. He's kind of a mystery. <laughs> hey, pipe down back there. Enjoy the scenery for a change, for fuck's sake. Yeah, me too. Let's try to go to bed early tonight, okay? Yes, please. And no wheat. All right, <laughs> who's ready for another great day at the office? Shut up. Ooh, somebody doesn't want to be employee Man, in the month. I'm so fucking tired. Stop your bitching or get out of here. Hey! Jeez. Hey, come on. That's not cool. Uh, are you really shit-talking me, Cheech? <laughs> huh? Forget it, Sean. Seriously. We're late. Hey. You're gonna get us kicked out of here. Well, I just wanted to. What? Be a white knight? I can take care of myself, Sean. Bro, that guy would've beat you down. Oh, thanks for coming. <laughs> I'm not your way, right? Uh, no, no, we're sorry. We, we just... You don't get paid to be late. Next time you won't be. <sighs> Listen up. I need two teams today. Finn, Penny, Anders, and what's your name will clean up the mess from the storm. Uh. The rest of you get to sit and trim. Like I want to go pick up a bunch of shit all over the camp. Hey, you want to trade places? Shut up, Daniel. You got a deal, kid. Yeah! I get to go outside. Hey! You guys still don't get it. This is work, not a goddamn summer camp. You're not special. There are dozens of hippies like yourselves begging for work in the next town. Kid, your dad should teach you to shut your mouth. Finn, you better watch your guys. Of course, boss. No problem. Okay, so move it. Yeah, you heard the man. Stop fucking around and get in your teams, all right? 
Hold up. You and me are gonna talk. Remember, I'm only letting you and your brother work here because Finn put in a good word. I know. We really appreciate it. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. No ass kissing, please. Just watch out. Next time your brother fucks up, you're both gone ASAP. Look, I'm not trying to bust your balls, but this is a pot farm and he's a fucking kid. You hear me? Got it. I'll keep him out of the way. You better. This business has enough shit already. Right. I'm... gonna go check on him then. How old is he anyway? Oh, uh, nine. He's nine years old. Jeez, tough age. Gotta keep a close eye on them. Yeah, not an easy thing to do out here. I know. Ain't no place for children. That's why I keep mine in New York. Isn't that hard? Of course it is. But it won't be forever. Okay, I'm not your buddy. Get the fuck out of here. You got a lot of work to do today. All right. Uh, thank you. Hey. You okay? Now for the fun part. I need this all done by tonight. No excuses. So, get on it! All right, we good? Eh, yeah, Finn is playing boss with his crew. I told him they'd all work late if they didn't finish on time. I hope so. Okay, I gotta make some calls. Well? What are you waiting for? Oh, you know the drill. <sighs> what? Dude. This sucks ass. I feel like I'm in prison. Shh. Meryl almost kicked us out because of your big mouth. What part of Lalo don't you get? You shouldn't even be here. Sure. I bet you wish I wasn't here. Oh, stop. I can tell. You know exactly what I meant. Oh, I feel you, Daniel. Sometimes I get stir crazy in here, too. Look, I know you guys are having the time of your life here, but I'm not. So shut your mouth and give me some quiet, for fuck's sake, okay? Well, why do you stick around, then? None of your damn business. <sighs> but I'd be long gone if I had the chance. Trust me. All right, man. Just pick a bud and get to it. Ugh. Man. Look at all these buds. Oh, this is nothing. Last spring, we were trimming about two or three pounds a day. Whoa! That's a lot. Yep. Had to work overnight all the time. 15 hours straight once. Yeah, trying to forget. I was done with Kush after that. <laughs> Whoa, we are lucky. Right, and then your arms fall off. Fuck all that. <sighs> Damn, Sean. We really need to do something about your hair. What? What? What's wrong with my hair? Are you kidding me? It's hiding your pretty face. I can't allow that. <laughs> Come on. It's not that bad. Just... Just a mess. Yes. But worry not. We've got everything to take care of it at the camp. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll see. Fuck this shit. Hannah... Sorry. I know. Hey, I don't want to fight. Been a long, crappy Just week. Just keep it fucking down in here, okay?
<laughs> Cheer up, my little Sean. <laughs> Trust me, it's not as bad as you think. Other farms in the area is just straight down exploit your ass. <laughs> Look at these baby soft hands. Trimming sucks. At least I didn't cut myself again today. Oh, you'll get scars, but you'll get it. Part of the fun. It ain't sexier. Later, Big Joe. Smile, asshole. So, did you have a good day at work, honey? Actually, kind of fun. Cass and Hannah cracked me up. They're like sisters. <laughs> yeah. They love to start shit with each other. Then get high. Short-term memory loss. How was your day? Did you have fun outside? <laughs> nope. Picked up branches and shit. Got covered in mud. Would not recommend. Still sounds better than sitting on your ass all day. I feel you, Sean. As always. That's why you're such a good fit for the family. You totally hooked us up. A job, cash, friends, safety. John, everybody's cool with you two. <laughs> Daniel is your secret weapon. I don't know. He's way too young for this bullshit. You gotta be zen about this. The more you try and control him, the less you have. It's deep, huh? Swear. He acts just like me. <laughs> That's how I know he's smart. He's also got a kick-ass hermano. <laughs> My brothers are like that. Maybe. But he doesn't listen to me anymore. I, don't worry. You're in a, a new group. He's trying to fit in on his own. Bet you're doing it too. Mm-hmm. Trying to be your own person. Not just Daniel's big brother. Sure. But I try to be both, you know? You're a good guy, Sean Diaz. You just need to trust yourself more. I know losing your family is tough. But the world is yours to create a new one. You know what I mean? Yeah. I was pretty sheltered growing up. But now, I'm starting to totally love seeing the world. Well, going to Mexico is the ultimate road trip. Not to Daniel. He doesn't even want to go. At all. Instead, he wants to go to Arizona to see his mom. Fuck that. It can be tough, growing up, not knowing your folks. He needs closure. That's all. Give him time. Mm. He'll follow you anywhere. Okay. Therapy's over. Oh, yeah. I gotta move those water tanks for the shower and stuff. It's cool you're doing your part, huh? Finally. Glad I can help. Hey. Hola. <laughs> Hey, está, señor? <laughs> Bien, ¿y tú? ¿Estás ensayando para la voz? Uh, no comprendo. <laughs> Don't laugh. Still learning, professor. <laughs> At least you're trying. Hey, am I bugging you? <laughs> Never. But let me finish this new song before I forget it. Don't let me get in the way. Talk later. I need two more hands, Dishmaster? Uh, yeah. That'd be cool. I'm on it. So boring. <laughs> yeah. I don't miss doing the dishes. Then why are we doing that? That's it. Finally. Too. I'm exhausted after today. <sighs> Let's get these over to the kitchen and shower. <sighs> I 
I like how Cassidy is in her own world when she's playing music. Boo! <laughs> Man, you are so focused when you draw. That's cute. Yeah, um... Thanks? <laughs> Let me be the judge. Whoa, whoa, give it back, please. Cassidy, do not even look... Whoa, down boy. Really, Sean? I didn't mean to freak. Stop this tortured artist shit. Share it. Come on. Fuck. You're good. Wow. <laughs> I look happy. Like, I belong here. I love how you see me, Sean. I think I look cooler as a sketch. Really? You think it's okay? <laughs> no, I'm just being nice. If it was bad, you would know. I don't lie. Well, I could never draw like that. What's your secret? I don't know. I just get inspired by the things I see and do. And uh, being around people like you helped a lot. So I'm like your muse. Sweet. <laughs> well, uh, you're a great model. Yeah. Oh, don't make me blush. We all learn from each other, right? That's why I love my life right now. Finally. <laughs> yeah, but we don't always have to suck up to fuckers like Meryl. Most of the year, it's just us. The road and us. Yeah, but life isn't easy going from place to place. I don't know how you do it. I mean, I do because we did, but it's still hard. <sighs> Hope we can just get to Mexico. Oh, you will. You guys came a long way already. You're tougher than you think. I mean, the trick in this country is just to survive. I guess. <sighs> I do like traveling around, but I want a base. Will you ever go back to Texas? No fucking way. My daddy was a meth head who beat the shit out of my boyfriend. Just because he wasn't wet. Yep. Then my big brother told me he would shoot me if I dated, dated that, well, you know. My mom didn't say squat as usual. Thanks, mom. So fuck them all. This is my family now. Damn, I'm sorry, Cassidy. <laughs> ah, don't be. I feel sorry for them. So, tell me. What do you miss about your old life? <laughs> well, apart from my dad, I'd say Lila. Definitely. She was like, my best friend. I miss our talks. I'm sure she's very special. Even when I had a shitty day, she would always make me laugh. Always. Feels like years since we talked. Probably never again. But... Things change. Right? Yep. So, keep moving forward. You have a good heart, Sean. I think you could use some alone time. See you later. <laughs> What up? Uh, the usual. Carving some wood. I learned wood carving with an Inuit native back when I lived in Alaska. It's an antique technique. Helps me vent out and focus. Yeah, I just let my hands sculpt the wood and sometimes I have good surprises. <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. It's actually a cool cowboy thing I've been trying to do for a while, but I, I suck at this. It's just fun to relax. Better go help Daniel train. I don't want him to get mad at me again.
sweet. But can you do it without your power? Oh, yeah. I can do better with my own skills now. Next level. Onward. Ready to rumble? I am so ready. Let's start with our team howl. T.S. Lobos. Come on. We don't have time for that. So, let's go. I'm ready. Hold up. Too many people over there. Let's hit the other side. Hey, can you move that tree trunk? Duh. Damn, you know what you're doing. Hey! <laughs> Your face! Come on, I wasn't gonna drop it on you. Very funny, man. Let's see what he can do with multiple targets now. Pick a rock. Any rock. Okay. And... Let's test your aiming system. Target in sight. Locked and loaded. Awesome! Okay, you're good. Now, let's spice things up a bit. Bring it on. Holy shit. That was not a fair fight. That's right. What's next? Hmm, let's try this. I want you to focus on these ugly mushrooms and blow them apart. Dude, it's toast. I'm waiting. Or maybe you... What the? <laughs> I told you I rule. Think you can lift all those? I know I can. That's amazing! That was some next level shit, Daniel. I can do anything now. Hey, don't go crazy. This is still a secret. You still have to be careful with it, man. You always want it both ways. Use it, then don't. We just have to make sure you can control it. Well, it's my power, not yours. Whatever. You better chill the fuck out, Daniel. I mean it. Why are you making a drama out of everything I say? Am I a bad big brother? Because I hang out with other people? You're always with them! And with Cassidy, too. Don't be so jealous. She's cool. She's weird. Lila was way better. You don't know her. I mean, never mind. That's it. Enough. You're being a brat. Can't say anything without you having a shit fit. We're family. We still have a long way to go. And we have to go together. Right? I know it sucks. But you have to grow up now.
got serious munchies. Any chips left? Dude, you scarfed the whole fucking bag. Have another hit. Yeah, yeah. I packed a fat bowl. You're getting tired, babe. You shouldn't have made had a long death to leg ducks. I took both roads everywhere. Whoa. You see that shit? It's a fucking UFO. I'm oh, serious, man. Look. They're finally coming to take you back. Tripped on a few words, but y'all are baked, so I'm good. <laughs> good job, sis. So beautiful. Damn. Why you ain't rich and famous? <laughs> I mean, you can hook us up. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. I take ass, cash, or grass. <clears throat> hint, hint. Sean, take a puff. Nah, I'm, I'm good. Daniel, no fucking way. Jeez, <laughs> I was just joking. Ha ha, you better be. That is all for us. We must sleep. Ah, there go the party animals. What is it, like 10 o'clock? No worry, Finn. We'll party like rock stars tomorrow for our last night. Come on, one more round. Go sleep nuts. tight. What about you, Sean? You obviously... Don't have to talk about that shit show back in Seattle. But if you have something else... I've got a whole bag of these. Don't worry. We're all listening, man. Well, this was a while before we met you guys in that market. We crashed at an abandoned house with our pup, Mushroom. One morning, she got out to pee and disappeared. She had run into a fucking... Puma. No way. Swear. What the hell happened? I faced it. Like I'm facing you now. Our puppy was dead. There was nothing we could do. We failed her. Poor puppy. Oh, fuck. I'm sorry, boys. That's awful. Laws of nature. But that still sucks. Cougars are beautiful creatures, but they're super scary. I was so afraid it would hurt Daniel, too. I bet. A kid wouldn't stand a chance against one of these. Yeah, life is a bitch. We can only go with the flow, like a river. Yeah, that's why I'm not dragging around any bad memories come on bull fucking oh you shit, started this man. shit bitch don't punk out now uh -huh. yeah, listen smart asses i'm just saying you can't change the past so you just gotta focus on what's next memories are just lessons for the future the future huh what's your big plan prophet want to know what my plan is picture this a kick-ass beach house in Costa Rica. Sunshine, feet in the sand, sweet ocean view. We'd be one big, fucked up, happy, dysfunctional family. we just chill and, and sing and drink cocktails out of coconuts. Only thing we need is a little cash along the way. And then, boom. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. That's your dream? Beach house and coconuts? <laughs> oh, uh, too boring for you? 
This sounds like my folks' retirement plan to Florida. I don't need anything else than what we already have. Sure, we're working our asses right now, but we can beat it if we want. I'm not gonna settle down. No way. That's how shit starts, you know? When you start having things of your own, things you ought to defend, property, land, family. What do you think you're missing out on now? Um, coconut cocktails? Well, agree to disagree, fucker. Man, I'm too high for your shit. It's time to crash. And Penny goes down. Peace out, brother. Night, night. Looks like we still have some booze left. Who's in? <laughs> oh, twist my arm. A teeny tiny drink. And we need to talk about Sean's hippie hair. Boy needs a real haircut. Oh, hell yes he does. <laughs> now it's your turn to get a trim. Karma. I'll call it a day too. Night, everyone. Hey. I'm wiped out. Are you ready for bed yet? I'm gonna hang for a bit. You want me to walk back alone? Oh. So now you're a kid again? <sighs> Have no fear. Finn is here. I'll walk you, little man. Sleep tight, Daniel. <laughs> Sweet dreams, sweetie. Now, you belong to us, Diaz. So, let's do something about that shaggy hair. Yeah, let's not. I like my shag. Sean, maybe you haven't noticed, but we have standards here. Fine. Whatever. Cut me up. Atta boy. That's what I like to hear. I don't want to end up with a mullet. Or worse. Tell that to your stylist. Don't look at me, boy. I only cut weed. Um, that means... Why, hello, laddie! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to McNam Hair Salon. Check, please. Yeah? <laughs> uh, step right up! Uh, hey, hey, no stress. You're talking to a pro. Just relax. Enjoy the buzz. Alright, now let's see. Hey! Hands off now. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Down, Finn! What? Hey, what are you doing? Stop! I said don't worry, Cassidy. Stop fooling around. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. Stand fucking straight. Nice. Looking good, Slick. Seriously. Aye, we don't fuck around at McNam Hair Salon. Mmm. <laughs> bit more here. Yes, that's gone. Almost done. Voila. What's the verdict? Hot. <laughs> nice. Okay. Can I see now? Is that me? So... different. It's... cool. I like it. Thanks, Finn. My pleasure. Really. Careful, Sean. People are gonna think you're one of us. <laughs> don't think so, Cass. <laughs> Looks don't mean nothing. Lucky for you. Here, you deserve it. I don't know. I'm already kind of trashed. Plus, I might be hosting tonight. Uh, Finn? I don't know. Maybe. Well, just in case. Can y'all let me get some rest tonight? <laughs> Sean won't be able to sleep either. I'm cool. So, how long have you two been, um, together? If you don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> What's so funny? You? That look on your face? Hilarious. Yeah, uh, Hans and I aren't together, sweetheart. We're just fuck buddies. Oh, oh. We're pretty open right. here. Duh. Fuck who you want to fuck. The end. Or don't. Nobody has to do anything if they're not into it. Yeah. We're not into the whole fucked up system. We make our own rules. 
You feel us, Sean? Or do we sound like depraved punks to you? No, uh, I totally hear you. I never thought about all this until I met this crazy cool guy on the road. People should do what they want, long as they don't bother anybody. That's it, laddie. Now you know why we're out here. We can be our true selves. Nobody's telling me whose dick to suck. That's fucking freedom. So, would you consider yourself bi or... Horny. Or... <laughs> I see people, not gender. It's all good, as long as I get some. Looks like Sean is a little curious. So, what about you? I had so many girlfriends, so... I guess it's a done deal. I like girls. Okay, Mr. Player. You know what you want. Cool. Didn't think you were such a womanizer. Oh, you kidding? A cute guy like him? Okay, lovebirds, that's it for me. A lot of work tomorrow. Plus, it's payday. Yeah, I need to crash too. Good night, everybody. Thanks for the haircut. And the cool talk. You gonna swing by, Finn? Of course, sweetie. I'm always swinging. Cool. Buenas noches, Sean. Loving on the hair. Meow. Okay, this is boring. 
So, everybody, tell me how you're gonna blow your next payday. The usual. Save it till the next one. <laughs> well, ain't we all stingy now? How about a keg offering for your family, or... Or some hookers, or cocaine? Oh, please. There's a child here. Mm, I think he's heard worse. Besides, he's our mascot now. Oh, I want to buy a bacon burger and a pepperoni pizza. Then, a box of Choco Chris and, and a red slushie. Oh, hell yes. S screw the hookers. Bring on the Choco Chris. <laughs> Come on, Sean. You gotta treat yourself after all this hard work. Seriously, we have to save every dime, so... Hookers will wait. <laughs> Trust me. They will. So that's it, huh? You bust your ass all week for nothing? Some of us just got simple needs, princess. Yeah. Like your beach house in Costa Rica? Okay, let's get this over with. Finn, Cassidy, Sean, and, uh, you. Jake. Jake, Jacob. Daniel, dude, do you have to do this every week? Adults only. Oh, whatever. I work too. Yes, I know, but we have to keep a low profile. Got it? For the millionth time. Just wait here for a few minutes, and don't do anything. Nothing. Jeez, I heard you for the millionth time. I hope so. Okay, we'll be right back. Ugh. For once, you're all on time. Let's see who wins that farm lotto. Jacob, right? I thought you wouldn't last a day, but you cleaned up. You're all right. Thank you. Thanks. Cassidy, your trims were pretty weak. And Big Joe told me you've been whining a lot. Bet he did. Look, you can bitch all you want as long as you work. Otherwise, you're just taking up space. So get it together. I know, Meryl. Now for Sean. Very nice trims. Good work, kid. Finn, you saved the pots in the greenhouse. And our asses. That's why you keep coming back. You know it, boss. Uh, how about a raise? <clears throat> yeah. Sorry. Now for the moment you've all been waiting for. Get in here, you little asshole! What the fuck? Don't touch me, jerk! Don't move! Now explain! That sneaky fucker! He was snooping around your living room! No, I wasn't! I was just bored, so I came in! Uh, shut up, Daniel! Seriously! Let Shh. him go! I told you. Come on, Meryl! He's a kid, not a thief! You wanna frisk him? <sighs> Look at him! He's just following his big brother! Your brother needs a lesson. You all need a lesson. So first off, no payday. Uh, oh, fuck that. Boss, no way. Uh, don't do that to us. We earned that money. Sean, you and your brother are, are fired. What? And don't come back or Big Joe will take care of your ass. Please, Meryl. That's bullshit, man. Man, I, I know you're pissed, but Sean is a good worker. Never brought you any losers, right? Sir, quiet! Shut the fuck up. Sean, I warned you one too many times. We tried your way, now it's my turn. Okay, Joseph, just teach him a lesson. Let me go! 
Oh, come on, man. Big Joe, what are you gonna do? He's just a little fucking kid! This ain't your business. Think I like it? It's mine. <gasps> Ow! What the... Uh. Uh. Okay. Okay, who did that? Who did that? Uh, I did. My fault. Uh, look! Whoa. Well, that's it. Believe it or not, I told you it would sound crazy. Fuck. That's mental. Exactly. I knew something was up with you guys. Damn, I would be scared shitless. We're careful. I'm always here, in case anything happens. And I practice every day. Man. So, Sean, maybe this shit is in your DNA, too. Do you have a superpower? Yeah. Dealing with Daniel. Shut up! You're lucky you're my brother. Do you have any idea where it comes from? I mean, it can't be random. I figured it started in Seattle. Maybe the shock triggered something. Fuck, I don't know. But I still don't remember. Don't worry about it. Damn, you're so unique, Daniel. That's why I need your word. That you'll keep all this to yourself. Seriously. Oh, this stays right with us. Promise. You can trust us. Jake? I don't know. I mean, this is a big deal, Sean. How long can you keep this a secret? As long as we have to. It's all about keeping Daniel safe. That's my job now, man. What if he has those powers for a reason? Maybe it's our job to help him, too. Guide him. What does he mean, Sean? Dude, no. Do not make this into some cosmic bullshit. You still can't tell anybody. Come on. I wouldn't do that to you, Sean. Or Daniel. Oh, this whole thing just blew my mind. I think I need a break. Is that okay? No worries. It's cool. Oh, not after what you guys went through with these bastards. Okay. Talk later. He's right. It's fucking bullshit. I know. Finn, do you swear? I mean it. No worries, sweetheart. I'd never let anything happen to that little guy. <laughs> He's a true rebel. Thanks, man. For real. Uh, hold up. You know, there's a lot of money around here. Oh no. What the fuck are you talking about? Meryl's safe. It's like a fucking ATM. I've seen it. Me too. In the back of the room. How you outlaws gonna get the combination? Me? No fucking way, Finn. Don't pull a kid into your stupid shit. Uh, getting a shitload of cash isn't stupid. We can get out of here. So you can be a beach bum? You're so selfish, man. Uh, how? Sean and Daniel are out of work. They deserve this. And ripping Meryl off is the only way to do that? Really? And with a fucking kid? You know these assholes are armed, right? I guess. I... I didn't think about that. Yeah. No shit. <laughs> Don't lecture me. I was just... having a brain fart. Let's have a beer and forget about it, Sean. Cool? Deal. Not like I would let you use Daniel anyway. No more of this crap, okay? 
He just needs his ass kicked once in a while. I think you did. I can tell he was sorry. For him? Yeah. Damn. I'm gonna drink the crap out of this party. So should you. Plus, since it's your last night, time for your tattoo. What? Are you getting a tattoo? Dude, I want one. No, you don't, hipster. We have other things we gotta do. <laughs> have a seat. <laughs> have a beer. To our last night together. And to your next adventure. So, what are you gonna do next? <laughs> Figure out what I'm gonna do. Me and Daniel are homeless again. Well, <laughs> when I got out of jail, <laughs> I had nobody but me. My brothers were still in the joint. <laughs> they still are. I stayed with a friend. Nobody could find me. Yeah, then I just said, fuck it. Took off. <laughs> that was it, man. No more family. Just me. Always trying to find a new daddy. <laughs> or new bros. Yeah, stupid. I knew I had to cut everything off, start over all for myself. That's what you're doing. Yeah, you're starting all over. And now, you just gotta take the next step to build a something for you and Daniel. I know you're right, Finn. It's just a fucking lot to think through. <laughs> no, it's not. You just gotta trust your gut, Sean. Life will follow. Yeah. No, oh, it's gonna be all right, laddie. You, uh, have enough cash for the trip? I doubt it, but we'll see. Hey, it's bullshit after all this. You deserve the lotto for life. Seriously. How are you two gonna get to Mexico? Hitchhike? Walk? Hey, just hear me out, man. There's only one way out of this for you. One way to hook yourself up. Listen, we got this, Sean. Daniel can open that safe with his eyes closed. Come on. No, Meryl's probably wasted, like every night. You guys can get to Puerto Lobos in style with a, a nest egg. <laughs> You don't want Daniel to be homeless anymore, right? Huh? Then let's do this. I wouldn't let you in on this, if I had any doubt. I can't, Finn. No way. Too dangerous for Daniel. Nah. Nah. See, Daniel is the dangerous one. Nobody can even touch him. You know it. I said no. I bet you're pissed at us because he didn't get paid. I would be too. I'm so sorry, but... Okay. Okay. No stress, man. I respect your decision. Just wanted to help you. And Daniel. Much love to you guys. Yeah. Sucks you have to go tomorrow. Makes me sad. <laughs> Gonna miss you, Sean. Truly. Thanks, Finn. Same here. If I were you, I would be chilling with Cass. <laughs> this is your last night with her. Don't blow it. She'll be a bitch if you don't say goodbye. Do it for me. Go on. Get back to your party. I'm stoned. Gonna zen out. Hey, Daniel. What's up? Nothing. Just hanging out with my friends. Um, okay. I'll just be around. Come get me when you want to go to sleep. I can go to bed on my own now, Sean. But thanks. Fine. Whatever. Guys, what's up? Oh, yeah. Sean is in the house. Grab a brew, smoke a bowl. I'm so good. Thanks, man. I'm, 
<laughs> I'm already busted. <laughs> That's the start. Don't puss out. I want to see you get wild. Here. Hey, dudes. I am drunk. No shit. So, Diaz, what's up? I'm so pissed we have to bail tomorrow. Bullshit. Fuck Meryl. I can't figure this guy. Hates me, loves Finn. Kicks you out. Crazy shit. Doesn't matter now. We're gone. No more job. I would rage if we did not get paid. Sean, this job ain't a thing. I can hook you up with another farm. Really? That would be fucking great. If you can. No worries. And did you guys start drinking? When I was 15. Oh, you mean tonight? No clue, man. <laughs> Mika. And this place is gonna be a ghost town tomorrow. So burn it down tonight, right? Fucking A. Skull! So, what's the next stop for you two travelers? I want to go north. Ingrid wants to go south. To both? Fuck that. I want to see Canada. She go to Tech's ass. Yeehaw. At least you have a choice. Still going down Mexico way? Yep. One way. Won't mind being in that heat, though. This is summer compared to Detroit. Summer. I believe you. Okay. I'm done. More beer and weed for you. You leaving? Lightweight. We party for you, Sean. Talk later. Hey. Everything okay? Diaz, my favorite punk model. I'm gonna leave you guys alone. No, don't. I can go. If I'm interrupting, or... Don't worry, we're done. I think I need some alone time anyway. See you later. Cheer up, sister. What's going on? Don't worry about that. Secret girl talk. I'm so bummed you guys are leaving. No shit. Are you still going to Mexico? Yeah. At least we have to try. It's cool you have a goal. I can't wait to get the fuck out of here. But they want more cash. Then Finn likes to get his weed on. So? Leave by yourself. You know what you're doing. Just take off. And hook up with them later. Easier than it sounds. It's not cool being a gal by yourself on the road. I hear you. I mean, I can take care of myself, but... Unlike you, I don't have a psychic bodyguard. <laughs> Whoa, down. Fuck that shit. It's fiesta time. Even if it's our last night here, we'll meet again, Sean. One thing I learned traveling is how small the world is. We already met twice. Why not more? Even if we don't, we'll be fucking cool memories in each other's mind. <laughs> yeah, maybe. But the best way to remember somebody is a tattoo. <laughs> Ready? Wait, are you serious? Goddamn right. This is like your initiation ritual. Don't be scared. Cass is here. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Let's... Let's do it. Really? Yes! Yes! Here comes your street cred. What's your favorite game? <laughs> yeah... Um... I'm not sure I... I'm joking. It'll be super cool. I swear. So? What do you want? Think hard. Um... A wolf? Thingy? But not to cringe, okay? Boy, you won't be disappointed. Here's to your first tattoo, Sean Diaz. All right, put your arm over here. You okay? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um... Hey! <sighs> Don't move, sweetie. But it fucking hurts. <laughs> what did you think this was? Doodling on your arm with a pen? Don't worry. 
You won't feel the pain. Eventually. Better? Mm hmm My poor city boy. At least I'm sure you'll never forget me now. I don't need a tattoo to remember you, Cass. Bullshit. Life's a bitch, Sean. You know it as much as I do. Who knows what's coming for you? Mm. A month from now, you can meet a sugar mommy, or get hired on a cruise ship to Egypt, or whatever. And before you know it, we'll be a tiny memory in the back of your mind. And we'll keep in touch. It's 2017. There's a million ways that we can keep track of each other. Yeah, maybe you're right. I heard homing pigeons are the new trend. I mean it, Cass. I'll get a burner so we can talk once in a while. And when we can, we'll try to meet each other. The world isn't that big. You said it yourself. You're right, Sean Diaz. I'd like that. And... I'm done. What do you think? It looks good! Thanks. A lot. I love it. I'm glad you like it. This will keep it warm for the night. You'll need to buy a healing balm when you can. Hey, you know what? I think I'll have a swim in the lake now. Come with me. Sean, come on. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck! <laughs> Woo! Yes, I'm in. What are you waiting for? Oh, fuck this. It's freezing. <laughs> it's all in your head. Just don't think about it. <laughs> uh, sure. <sighs> okay, here I come. I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get over it. Hurry up. There you go! Bring it home! <laughs> hey, you gotta take it all off. No cheating. Oh, shit, shit, shit. My, my balls. <sighs> Cassidy, do not even... <clears throat> You are so... Adorable? Yeah, I know. Not bad, Diaz. Didn't think you'd actually do it. <laughs> My body just had to get used to it. Not that cold. That's because I had to pee. Ha, ha, ha! So, what are you gonna do about Finn and, you know, his... Plan. It's a really stupid idea. Way too dangerous, especially for Daniel. I know. Finn acts like this is no big deal, but this feels bad. Plus, I don't want you guys to get in any more trouble. Yeah. Tell that to Daniel. He's gonna be pissed. He's your brother. He'll listen to you. Finn wants to take care of us, but... But he doesn't always see other people. It's all about him. I know. But I feel bad for ruining his dream. He'll rage for a while, for sure. Then I'll be cool. He likes you. What do you mean? Come on, Heartbreaker. You know everybody likes you. I plead guilty. Yeah. I like you too. Oh, Sean. <laughs> That's sweet. I'm flattered. Too bad I'm no match for your Casanova. What? 
Oh, what I said. Come on. I was joking. I know, dude. I'm not that much of a player, as you can tell. Hmm. I don't know. We're both already naked. Hey, that's your fault. Not that I mind. So, do you want to kiss me? Yes, I do. If that's cool. Yes, it is. See? Now, let's get out of here. Damn, Sean. You really are cool. Shut up. Stop looking. Hold on a sec. Okay. <laughs> it's been worse. Sean? Hello? You want me to come inside? If you want to. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I do. Then get in, bro. Sorry for the mess. Hoarders rejected my application. Again. <laughs> Are you cool? Totally. Uh, I'm, I'm just nervous. Kind of bummed we waited till now. No shit. You're kind of a slow player, dude. Now we're all cozy, right? Yeah, um, hey, listen, I, I think you should know that I'm, uh, I know. Don't worry about it, okay? I took a breath of fresh air. Took in the view at the top. I took a walk of her golden hair. I took a look, it was gone. Some time 
to decide if it was right. I took a walk in the dark. If living, is giving. Hey, what's up? Nothing. I just. Uh, never mind. Come on, talk to me. Sorry, I um. Uh, sorry, it sucked. Sean, this is your first time. I won't give you a bad review online. Promise. That's uh, sweet, but y you don't have to be like that. Hey, I mean it, Sean. Just take it easy and you'll have time to practice, okay? Okay, we need some fresh air. Let's get dressed. Until we fuck again. Sean, it's all good, okay? Hey, what's happening? Wait, did you guys just have sex? Yeah, <laughs> kinda. Uh, yep. Did you see Finn? He was with Daniel, but now I can't find him. Well, you didn't see anybody out there, but... We better go now. Figures Daniel is with him. Just tell Finn I want to talk. Thanks much. Later. Sean, hold up. Wait a sec. Why? We have to stop them. Let's figure out a plan first. We don't have time for that shit. Well, we have to get to Merrill's before then. You're right. Maybe we can borrow one of Big Joe's trucks. This is so messed up. I told Daniel. Fucking Finn. Hey, get mad later. We got shit to do now. If something happens, fuck me. It's okay. We're gonna get them. Bring them back. Thanks for coming with me, Cassidy. Don't thank me. I'm gonna kill Finn myself. Somebody build a lock. Of course. We probably gotta jack a car. One truck is missing. See? Those tracks are headed out. Fuck. At least they didn't wake Big Joe up. But if we do, he'll kill us, Sean. So let's not advertise. No lights, no noise. I'll check the car, you do the truck. Figures. Maybe the car then? Check it out. So, all the doors are locked, but we just gotta get into one car. And I think I can get that truck started. You shitting me? My dad was a mechanic. He once showed me how to hotwire his tow truck, just in case. Sean Diaz, you're full of surprises. Plus, we could uh, mess with all the other cars. So Big Joe can't follow us. Love the way you think. We can find some things here to bust shit up. But we can't make a sound. Hmm. Nice. You're fucking stupid. There she blows. fun.
Here goes. One, two. Shit! He's fucking coming! Let's go! Fuck, 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 fuck. What the hell? He'll be on us in any second now. Fuck, Sean, you did it! Let's get out of here. Drive! Fuck this shit, we did it. But it was so close. Let's do this. after the night we've had. This is basic karma. Shit. Right. I want this to continue, Cass. We should go. They might not even be inside yet. Oh, Finn is out of control. Has he done this before? Fuck us over? Not like this. Shit. You scared the shit out of me. Good. What the fuck are you doing? Didn't we settle this, man? Shh. You're gonna wake Meryl. Finn, no fucking way. Come on, Sean. Are you kidding me? How could you do that, Finn? And you're some fucking kid. He's nine years old. He asked me for it. I didn't force him, man. Are you an idiot? He's too young to make that kind of decision. Fuck's sake. He's an old soul. He knows what's up. Hold on, please. You're standing near a boatload of cash. We can do this in five minutes, in and out. And then you're off to Mexico. You won't hear about me ever again. We got this, man. Trust me. No means no, Finn. Meryl is right fucking there. Uh, he's a log. Won't even know. You asshole, I want to help, Sean. We could get out of here. Go to Mexico. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> yes! Let's do it. Oh. Seriously? <sighs> yes. We have to do this. Else we're fucked. Just be your back. Fuck you, Sean. Don't touch me, man. You're so st I can't believe this shit. Hey, no stress. She'll cool down when she sees us come back loaded with cash. We don't need her, Sean. We sneak in, Daniel opens the safe, we grab the money, then get the fuck out. Sound like a plan? Yep, they're all here. You were right. God damn, you little assholes had to fuck with my trucks. Joe, watch those punks. I'll take care of these ones. All right, move your asses over there. Uh, Meryl, now. Uh, <laughs> boss. <laughs> I know this looks bad, but stop. I don't want to hear any more of your shit. So, what was your big fucking plan exactly? 
work here for a time, and then break into my safe? Pathetic. Who was the moron mastermind? Like I didn't know. I gave you punks work when nobody would. A place to crash for free. This is how you repay me? Stealing from me? Uh, no, no, it's not about you. I thought you were different, smart, but you're a real dumbass for getting a kid involved. And you're teaching him how to steal? Thief and brother of the year. Nice. What now? You all really fucked up. I can't just let this slide. I can't. You're young, but you can learn from mistakes. That doesn't mean your lesson's gonna be easy. Or painless. Okay. On your knees. Hands on your heads. Don't do this. Don't. Come on, sir. We... We could talk. I'm serious. On your knees. Now! Do what he says. Don't worry. We're on our knees, okay? Meryl? No. Don't break my balls now, kid. Daniel? You got this. Don't move. He can't do this. Don't uh. fucking move. It's not like I want to do this. The people I deal with are worse. But if you rip me off, you rip them off. Then I pay. I have a family to look after too. I gotta protect them first. Can't let you play me anymore. Shot. Daniel, do it! Get out! Run! Oh, ah, son of a bitch! Wait! Stop! Fuck! Stranger traveling through this world alone. There is no sickness, toil, or danger in that land to which I go. I am a poor wayfaring stranger. Traveling through this world alone There is no sickness, toil or danger In that land to which I go I'm going home Before me, 
Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They lived in peace until hunters took their dad away. And they had to go on the run. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. They discovered a secret hideout where they could train day and night. They were happy. But the little wolf got very sick and they had to move on. The brothers made it to the home of their ancestors and the old wolves took care of them. Unfortunately, the hunters were hot on their trail and found them. The brothers had nowhere to stay again, so they decided to keep going south. They soon entered the old forest of the giants, where they met a pack of stray dogs who worked in a secret farm. The brothers joined them and worked hard to stock up on gold for the future. They were happy to find others like them, and everybody loved the little wolf, who was growing up fast. His power was growing too. The little wolf was more and more confident and independent. The big brother hooked up with a cool she-dog they had their own adventures. Suddenly, the mean farmers who owned the land tried to hurt the brothers. The little cub was injured. He transformed into a super wolf and destroyed everything. The big brother was badly wounded and worse. He didn't know where the little cub was. Hey, Sean. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. It was a bad idea. Daniel. No way. It's all good. Wish I listened when you tried to stop me from going with Finn. I was too pissed. <sighs> it's okay, dude. You're my brother. And that's all that counts. So, why don't you come and get me? I'm alone, Sean. I don't know what to do. 
I'm scared. Don't get so close to that edge. Please, come and get me. Yes, I, I swear. <sighs> Stop! Check up. Sure. <laughs> Good day, sunshine. Hey, Joey. Hey, man. That looks like it might have been food. Hard to tell. Ha ha. Never heard that before. Oh, somebody is in a bad mood. Sorry, Joey. Not feeling it today. Mm, I don't blame you. But maybe I got something to cheer you up. Pecans and chocolate? Uh-oh. There's that <sighs> smile. Thanks, Joey. So how you feeling today? Any headaches? Socket pain? <sighs> no. It's all good. Well, this is your final test before... Mm, you know. Before they... Check you out. Check me out to Juvie. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, let's see. You know the drill. Don't blink and just stare at the light. Yes. Nice retina response. Okay. Now, try to follow the light as well as you can. You've been there before. Good. Good. Keep going. Quick response. Nice. Remember, to see objects on your left side, you gotta turn your head more now. Yes. Looking good, Sean. Now try to align your pen with mine. Yeah, I know. It's hard. Oh, come on. Yeah, that's enough. Too much stress on you and your eye. But remember, your depth perception will always be affected. Hmm. Here, read this. Patient cleared. Send him right to jail. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. I always hated that game. You can try, but you can't rig the exam, Sean. Hmm. <sighs> It's time we release you. Sorry. Your vision has improved a lot. Now you don't really have severe side effects anymore. Yeah. That's just great. I do have to tell them the truth. But first, let's clean this dressing. Hey, sure hope you're watching the door like your phone. Oh, come on. <sighs> we ain't going nowhere. Great. All I do is watch them. Yes, true. Your job. Do you mind if we talk alone? Mind if I finish with my patient? He looks good for now, right? Just come back when I'm finished with him. Sure. I'll swing by later, Sean. Stay cool. So, how are you feeling today, Mr. Diaz? Amazing. Did you find Daniel? I want to go over this again. What? I've been telling the same fucking story for three weeks. How much longer? Until it makes sense. Until you get it right. So, silence isn't gonna help you now. Listen close, Sean. Tomorrow you're going to Jolina Shore and you'll be arraigned in court for the murder of a Seattle police officer. You might spend the rest of your life in prison, or you can talk to me. I'm innocent until proven guilty, right? And I believe that. That's why I want you to tell me the whole truth. 
It's just... I can't. Was Daniel involved? Is that why you can't talk? No, no way. And you're absolutely sure your dad didn't go after the officer? Yeah. He came outside. Then he was killed. That's what he did. Just guilty of being... Who knows? I hear you, but... You're sure you didn't get upset and go after the officer? It happens. Jesus, no. Look at me. Okay, let's just jump ahead. Tell me what happened in that farm in Humboldt. The place looks like a tornado wiped it out. I've told you so many times. I have no clue why the place was trashed. I passed out. Plus two seriously wounded, along with you. And a missing child. The only statement we have is yours. Sean, throw me a bone here. Can't you see I want to help? So you haven't found my brother? We might have some leads. You can help by telling me the truth. <sighs> okay. Fuck. The robbery. Whose idea was it? His? Or yours? Huh? We all did. Meryl totally ripped us off. Not a good guy. That's what happens when you mess with drug traffickers. Daniel wanted to leave. But he's just a kid. And I didn't listen. Why didn't you try to get help? Go to the police. <laughs> oh, yeah. The police would help me. After they shot my dad and accused us of murder. Great plan. So Finn wanted to get revenge on Meryl, too. Your friend is learning the hard way. I didn't want any of this shit. Now I gotta live with it. You're not alone, Sean. There are people that want to help. By the way, we contacted your grandparents in Beaver Creek. They can visit you after you're transferred. Might be a while. But you do have a support group. We couldn't track down your mother, though. Sorry. Good. What about Daniel? You said you had leads. I said might. Uh, hold on. I gotta take this call. Okay. So what's going on with Daniel? You really have leads? Yes, we do. That's our job. The Bureau put his profile out over four states, so we are on the case. For how long? It's been over two months. How are you going to find him? We have a lot of people looking for your brother. Trust me. We want to find him too. Yeah, yeah. So you can lock him up too, right? Whatever. Anyway, thanks for talking to me. I'll be back tomorrow to take you to Jolina Shore. Look out. I have to guard the guard now. <laughs> Love it. Sit down so we can get this show going. So, how did your interview with Scully go? You mean interrogation? Who knows? Maybe Detective Flores wants to help. Maybe not. I just can't trust her. After what you and your brother went through, I don't blame you. Aw, oh, this shit is all wrong, man. You've been out of the garden for three weeks now. We talk every day. I can see that you're a good person. But I'm not. I've done too many mistakes. I let everybody down. I lost Daniel. And I'm going to juvie. This is all bullshit. Now let's check this out. The healing is coming along nice. Just gotta keep it clean for the next week or so. Simple. That's great. Seen the shrink this morning? What did she say? Nothing I wanna hear. 
This will take time and rehab, Sean. You have to process first. Ugh. I could tell myself that shit. Clearly, I'm no therapist, but I've nursed patients with your injury. They all turned their anger into energy. You will too. <laughs> Plus, the glass eye tech is pretty cool now. <laughs> Things change, huh? Yeah. Stuck in jail is a big change. Can't wait. Sorry, Joey. I'm being a dickhead. Just bummed out. I know. I do. But I promise there's a treat coming your way. Now as for your wound, this is the last time you hear this from me. You have to clean it with sterile gauze and saline solution. Coat the area using the swab and cream. Then wrap it up with clean dressing. And you're the shit. Remember, you gotta do this. Four times a day. I won't forget. I'm sorry about everything, Sean. Wish I could have done more. Dude, you saved my ass here. You're the only one I trust. It really helped. Cool. I'm glad when I can make a ch... Oh, shit. <sighs> Emergency. I'm out. And no smoke break. Let's say our goodbye tomorrow. Oh, Sean, check out that towel. Got your name all over it. <sighs> Catch you later. You're here just for me. I'm flattered. What? Wow. Haven't seen you in a long time. <sighs> I know I fucked Daniel over. Again. And now he's gone. Where would he hide out? A ten-year-old by himself? Out there? He might go back to Seattle. But too far. Nowhere to go. If he tried to hook up with Claire and Steven, they would have definitely told me. Or the cops. Wait. What's that? Haven Point. Nevada. I gotta get to him. How to find a way to escape tonight? <sighs> okay, time to clear off now. Sir? Hello? Okay. What's wrong now? Head hurts. I need aspirin. That's a sad story, but I'm not a pharmacy kid. Hello? I need help. Please. What? What's the matter, kid? Huh? My head. It's killing me. I need help. Hold on. 
you're gonna need help if you're fucking with me. What's he doing here?
careful. Ah, man. I should have listened to Joey. This is a mess. Still with me, Sean? <laughs> yeah. Just... zoning out. Just don't do that when you're driving, my son. So, uh, what's the verdict on the new car? I know it's not a new board, but it's got four hot wheels. Thanks for finishing it, Dad. A perfect reward for your excellent report card. <laughs> I'm proud, Sean. You don't even bullshit me when you need cash. Hey, I'll try to be cool. No dad jokes, huh? I hope you're not too bummed out to go on a big road trip with your lovely papito, huh? <laughs> oh, please. You're the coolest dad. How could I be bummed? Excuse me. <laughs> Where's my regular, emotionless son? <laughs> I appreciate it. Think we can hang out for five days without killing each other? Hell yeah. Haven't done that since I was a kid. Miss it. So do I. So do I. Even if you hate to get hugs from your old man. <laughs> I'm glad we're here. You know me, Dad. I keep everything inside. Good to hear. <laughs> By the way, boy talk. What's going on with that gin, huh? <laughs> uh, well, not much to talk about. That was like pulling teeth. Well, I've got a week to find out the truth. It's just, I don't get to see her too much. Kind of miss her. Oh, you're hooked, my son. Don't worry. This is how it goes. Ah. Could that be Daniel? Hola. Hello. Everything okay, Lila? Oh, Daniel better not be giving you any sass. <laughs> nah. He's an angel. We went to the swing pool, and now we're making popcorn for movie <laughs> night. Yes! It's so cool. Hey, Sean. Don't crash the car. He's driving real slow and safe, like a grandma. Thanks for checking in. We'll buzz you when we hit the motel. Lila, you ready? Sounds good. And Sean, Jen wants you to call her <laughs> when you have time. Jen says hi. Sounds pretty good, Sean. You think? Maybe. Seriously, though, how are you really doing? It's too bit, but I miss you. I miss you too, my son. But this is all part of growing up. I know. I don't like it. I have total faith in you, Sean. You're a Diaz. You were born to roam and find your way home. God. I love you, Dad. Wish I would have told you more. You didn't have to tell me. You showed me. Oh, by the way, oh. hey, wake up! Huh? Huh? What? Yeah, what the fuck are you doing on our property? 
Oh, man, I crashed hard. Oh, yeah? Come on out, boy. Who the fuck is that? A fucking kid. Get out. Look, I'm leaving, okay? Uh, no, you ain't. Step out, or I'll call the cops. You don't want that, boy. No need to. I I'm leaving. Now. You deaf? I said, out. <clears throat> we don't need cops to deal with assholes like you anyway. Listen, I don't want any trouble. Too late for that, boy. So tell us what the fuck you're doing on our land. I... drove for so long, I... I had to pull over to get some rest, you know? I swear, I had no idea this was your property. There's a fucking sign? Didn't you see it? I... was too exhausted. I guess I missed it. He's just a kid, and he's hurt. Look. Yeah? What happened to your eye? Uh, I got into a fight. Of course. Bet you deserved it. Move it. <sighs> Please. I just want to go. Ho oh, ho. What's this? Drugs? Yeah, for my eye. Oh yeah. Did you steal them? Like this car? Listen, it's not what you think. Oh, I think it is. You ain't the first beaner we caught. Take his backpack. Dude, come on. Get it! Let's see what he's holding. So? Nothing good. Any money? Fucking toys, man. You still play with toys? Seriously? It belongs to my brother! Leave it alone! Whoa! You did not! That's it, boy. Uh. Get up. Up! <sighs> okay, Chad. We fucked with him. Let him go. He's got nothing. Hey. Hold on a sec, Mike. You speak Spanish, Pedro? Huh? What? 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 Hablas Espanol. Chad. So, Professor, how do you say, I'm a dirty thief? Soy un... Sucio ladrón. Soy un sucio ladrón. Nice. Sounds better when you say it. <laughs> this is fun. Now say, uh... I'm a dirty thief with one eye. Soy un ladrón y chinga tu madre. Uh, wait, madre? Uh... What did you really say, asshole? Huh? All I want to do is learn Espanol. <laughs> Might be our official language someday, right? See, si, senor? So, one more lesson. How do you say, this is not my country? Look, Chad, it's gonna rain. Let's go before we get soaked. Hold on. This little thief is fucking with me. You're really pissing me off, you know that? But I'm willing to give you one last chance to make things right. Sing something. What? Just pass the audition, and you're free. We'll be very upset if you refuse. No. Really? Okay. I warned you, boy. Stop! Stop it, Chad! Uh. What the f- Fuck, man! Holy cow! What are you doing? Listen, you little beaner. Get your shit and go. Now! <gasps> Just drive straight and you'll hit the highway. Forget this happened, man. Okay?
<sighs> so the... The Wolf Brothers were split apart. The oldest wolf was badly hurt, but nothing could stop the wolf from following his brother's tracks. Okay. Still a few hours away from Haven Point. Almost there. <sighs> Shit, I need a break. <sighs> Might be some shade at the next billboard. <sighs> yes. Shade. Oh, man. My feet are killing me. Feels like hiking in hell. Oh, shit. My throat feels like sand. Daniel better be okay. Feels like I haven't seen him in years. Of course I miss everything about him. Even his whining. Yeah, you couldn't wait to get out on your own. Now you are. And it sucks. Whoa! Ah, oh, shit. Better stick to the road. Don't worry about your feet. Just pace yourself. <sighs> oh, shit, there's a truck coming. Whoa. Is he honking at me? He's stopping. Uh, okay, uh, be cool. Just uh, see what he wants. Truckers can't be cops, right? Hey, need a lift? It's too damn hot to be walking. Yeah, thanks. Hold up.
Jeez. What the hell happened to you? Nothing, just, uh, a bad day. Bad week. I see. Uh, you're not the only one. Hey, Anton. You there? Everything all right? Yeah, what's up? GPS tells me you parked in the middle of nowhere. Just wanted to know what happened. I, uh... I had to make a shit stop. Over. <laughs> Too much information, but... 10-4. <laughs> you mean number two. You owe me a beer for that. Over and out. Don't freak out. I... I wouldn't have picked you up if I cared about that hitchhiking law. Okay. Cool. So, you hungry or what? You look hungry. <sighs> I am. Thank you. As you heard, my name's Anton. Mm. It is good, huh? My wife packs the best sandwiches. <laughs> Messy. Best sandwich ever. Seriously. Thanks, sir. Anton. Anton. Right. What's your destination? Hmm. Haven Point. You've heard of it? Oh yeah. Straight ahead, about an hour. Take a nap if you want. You don't have to stay awake to be nice. Hey, don't worry, kid. I'm not a fucking weirdo. Just a boring trucker. so much you just be careful out here these people are kind of weird really okay 10-4 good buddy Hope those people are caring Christians, like our grandparents. You okay now? Is it gone? I... I think. Good. Scoot back inside now. Okay, Dad. Uh, hello there. Is everything all right? Yeah, yeah. Um, don't worry. You here for the service? Y yeah, I I am. But it's my first time. 
Don't be shy. Everybody's welcome here, no matter who you are or where you're from. In his eyes, we are all equal. Plus, we have a pretty nice spread after the service. Stay as long as you want. Okay, um, thanks. <laughs> Don't thank me. I'm just a vessel for our reverend. Thank her. <laughs> Looks like you're here to see our new miracle, right? Sure, uh, of course. Of course. So many new faces are coming to see him these days. He'll be here any minute now. Just come inside and see for yourself. Praise the Lord. Oh, feel that cold air. Oh, thank God for AC. We hear that word a lot, but faith is not just a word, my brothers and sisters. Oh no. What is faith? Remember Luke 18, 27. What is impossible for man is possible for God. Amen. With that righteous faith comes the salvation of your souls. Can you cross that invisible bridge to salvation? Oh, yes. Yes. yes God. Do you want your soul to be saved, brothers and sisters? Yes. Oh, yes. yes. Oh, yes. You are not like all these sinners out there. So I never asked the Lord for a sign. Then he gave me one. He spoke to me and told me that I was doing right. And to reward our great faith, the Lord sent me the ultimate gift. Yes, he did. An angel, a child graced with the power of God. Yes. The miracle we have all been praying for, waiting for. Can I get a hallelujah? hallelujah. Do you have faith? in his power. Do you have faith in me? Then please welcome our newest member and our latest miracle, the angel Daniel. Here is Daniel, oh, praise be the Daniel. prophet who was thrown to the lions by false prophets. But God saved Daniel so he could do his work. Hallelujah. Yes, Daniel was brought to me to deliver us, praise to guide us from the wilderness praise to our destiny. Now Daniel will reveal the true power of the Lord. Oh! 
Oh, with your own eyes. Now we have a voice. A messenger. Our flock keeps growing. I see more and more new faces. But this is only the beginning. You must spread the word. Bear witness to this miracle. Thank you so much for coming. And God bless all of you. Amen. Yes, thank the Lord. Oh, thank the Lord. Praise you, Daniel. As our reverend said, we do appreciate your kind donations. This helps us keep our church and to spread the word of God. Oh yeah, there's only a few tickets left for our picnic raffle next Sunday. Don't miss the child and another miracle. Any questions, please talk to me outside. Bless you for coming today. <laughs> Hi. Oh, uh, hi. I saw you out in that parking lot earlier. <sighs> yep, that was me. I like to be here too. We can see the whole room, and it's where our Reverend Mother teaches us classes. <coughs> Whoa. You okay? Need some water? Uh, and no, sorry. I'm just kind of sick. Oh, that sucks. Uh, that's too bad. Hey, what happened to your eye? Well, that's a long story. That's okay. My name is Sarah Lee. What's yours? Aw, you must be Jacob's sister. Did you get that letter from Jacob back when he was in California? Yes. <coughs> How did you know he was in California? I was with him. Uh, that's how we met. You are Daniel's brother? Really? He's always talking about you. Hey, uh, not too loud. Uh, yes, I'm Daniel's brother, but I need some help. The Reverend Mother says we always have to help our neighbor. What do you need? What is this place? This is our home. <coughs> our church and community. The Reverend Mother says we were all chosen by God. Who is this Reverend? You don't know her? That's her mother, Lisbeth. She was blessed by the hand of God when she was my age. <coughs> she can't ever sin. The Lord guides her. What is Daniel doing here? He's our miracle. And the Lord brought him right to our reverend mother. I like him. He's really kind and funny. We play together all the time. So, can you take me to Daniel? Oh, yes. He's going to be so happy when he sees you. He missed you so much for his birthday. It will be like a late surprise. Daniel, you're the living proof of their faith. And mine. I know you understand. I guess... I mean... Sean? Oh my... Sean! You came back! I knew it! You've grown up, and I know. Do I look older? What? What happened to your eye? Don't worry. It's okay. Did that happen at the farm? Because of... me? I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Forget it. It wasn't your fault. I should have... It's okay. Does it... hurt? No. Not as much as your haircut. Shut up. 
It's different. I kind of like it. Sean, I didn't want to leave you there. Nothing I could do. I was so scared. I even thought you were dead. And... It's okay. We're together now. Yes. So, are you gonna stay with us now? Huh? I... We still need to go to Puerto Lobos. But... We don't need to. We have a new home now. Look! One step at a time, Daniel. Give Sean a chance to process this. I'm sure this is all... so... overwhelming. By the way, my name is Lisbeth Fisher. We all prayed for your safe return. Sean, you must be a believer now in our Lord, too. Mm, kinda. Daniel told me you had faith. That's how you got here. But first, I need Sarah Lee and Daniel to grab the medicine kit. We have to take care of our new guest. This is a place of healing. Huh? Let's do it later. I want to talk to him now. Daniel? Now. Okay, Reverend Mother. Let's go, Daniel. Whoa, whoa. Hold on. Well, Sean, it's a pleasure to meet you. This is a real blessing today. You were away from Daniel for quite a while. I was in a coma. Of course. <laughs> I wasn't judging you. So what is your plan, Sean? This is a blessed family, and it would be good for Daniel to have you by his side. You should know that the Lord has big plans for him. Maybe I could stay here for a while. You know, I am impressed by your drive and devotion. But small is the gate and narrow the way. I know about that poor man you beat down back in Washington, Sean. This is a terrible sin. And until you make penance for it, I can't accept you here. What? Are you serious? I'm sorry, my son. I'm not your son. And Daniel isn't gonna be your golden cow. Daniel, come on! Why don't we ask him what he wants to do? Do not touch me! What the fuck? What did you do? Nothing. Enough. You spilled blood in the Lord's home. Sean! What happened? Your brother came in here, impure and acting like a criminal. But he can be saved, Daniel. I'm sorry, Sean. She's right. I will pray for you. Ben, when you're ready, we can. She's trying to manipulate you. Let me lead you to the one true light that never goes out. I want to be your friend. You're crazy! Let's get out of here, Daniel. I want to stay. Just go. There's your answer, Sean. We're together again. So we can go, right? Come on! Get off me, dude! What? Daniel! <coughs> Let me go, asshole! <coughs> Daniel! They're not your family! Stop it! You just need to have faith. We'll be waiting. Daniel! It's okay, Sean! Sean. Daniel! <sighs> there you go. Satisfied? Now don't you ever come back! Come on, kid. Don't make me do this. You're not gonna win. You're pissing me off. This is private property. I have a legal right to stop any intruders like you. I just want my brother. But he doesn't want you. He was brought here, and this is where he's staying. Next time, I will not hesitate to use this. Now get out of here. Daniel, hey! To 
in your... Sean? Karen? You won't get him back like this. Let's go. Sean, what happened to your eye? Why the hell are you here? How did you find me? Well, um, I got a letter from uh, Jacob. He said you were missing. And that Daniel needed help. I believed him. Hmm, <laughs> so you finally decided to check on him. You know, Sean, sooner or later, we're gonna have to talk. Where are we even going? I already have a hotel room. You're gonna need to rest and clean that dressing. Man. Damn. You look bad. Gotta change that dressing soon. This place is quite remote. Good. At least nobody will be looking for me here. Jacob, it's me, Sean. Sean? No way! I've been waiting to hear from you for months! So you... you found my note in your sketchbook? Yeah. Where are you? You have to come here, Sean. I know. I'm not far. In a... motel. Good. Listen, I... I can't talk right now. I gotta go. Wait! Daniel, how's he doing? Meet me tomorrow afternoon on Brandy Highway. There's a... a, a junction just above Haven Point. There's a, a, a wild mice ranch billboard there. I'll be there at four. Jacob, wait! I can't talk, Sean. Be there tomorrow. Please. <sighs> Let's just rest while I wait for her. <sighs> if she comes back. Hey, sorry it took so long. Fucking store was packed. How you feeling? 
Nothing broken? Alter boys don't fight fair? Yeah. I'm okay. Double cheese, no onion. Right? That'll do. Got you some gauze and uh, antibacteria stuff for your eye. Mm. Hey, don't wolf that down. Or at least take a breath. <sighs> like you care. Sean, I do. <sighs> Come on, Karen. Don't act all hurt. It's too late. Where were you when I broke my leg when I was 13? Not with me. When Daniel got a bad flu a couple of years ago, he didn't sleep next to him every night. Where were you? Where were you? Fair enough. So let's talk, because we do have to get your brother out of a cult. I'm listening. How did you two survive alone on the road for that long? Dad taught me responsibility. He always wanted us to know how to take care of each other. Good. How did you go to Beaver Creek? You know, I don't have to answer your questions, right? You're right. So tell me what you want from me, Sean. Nothing, Karen. I mean, what do you want from me? A fucking hug? Hey, I just want you to know what I did. And why. If you care. So, ask me anything. All right. Why did you bail on us? I wasn't meant to be a wife or a mother. I thought I was supposed to. I tried to pretend for many years. But I was unhappy, and the urge to leave just became unbearable. I had no other choice. Are you serious? You chose this life. You fell in love. You made your own choices, right? Making your own choices doesn't mean you can never fool yourself, Sean. After I had Daniel, you were about eight, and Esteban's garage was getting busy. There was so much going on around me, yet somehow I just felt that my own life was just slipping away. Felt like an empty shell. Sean, it was the hardest decision I ever made. I knew I might never see you all again, but I took that responsibility. Did Dad know about all of this? I was honest with your father. We did family therapy, but it wasn't about him. It was me. <sighs> he was so much better than you. He wouldn't talk about what you did. Like, when I asked why you left, he just said you had to go live your own life. <sighs> he was right about that. You're just so fucking selfish. So what exactly are you doing in Nevada? You live around here? No. I'm uh, way out in Arizona. Sean, I told you. Your friend uh, Jacob wrote my P.O. box and said Daniel was in trouble. Arizona? Holy shit. It's just lizards and rocks. Yes, I found something there. New York didn't really do me good, so... Yeah. Okay. Think I've heard enough. I didn't have a choice, Sean. We only have one life. And I didn't want mine to be spent in regrets. For years, I fooled myself. Thinking I'd find satisfaction into what society expected me to be. And that was my mistake. I hope someday you can understand that. But I never stopped caring about you. <sighs> For what it's worth. I am sorry for hurting you and Daniel, and Esteban. Oh, please. It's too fucking late for that shit. No matter what, you left your own kids and my dad. So don't even- I know it's too late. I just- I want you to know how I feel- Yeah. I still don't care. Jeez.
Sean, whatever you want to say to me, this is the time. Let's just get it all out in the open. See what happens. So... What did you do when you left? Where did you go? I pursued some dreams and failed. Learned the lessons. I guess all this time I tried to find out what really matters to Which me. Which doesn't involve a husband and two kids. It does to a lot of people. And I totally respect that. Just not to me. I wasn't good at making plans, which is what most of modern life is about, right? School, job, marriage. Ask my mom and dad. They wanted me to follow their rules, their faith. Oh, I tried, but I wanted to find my own way, with no security blanket. Family, religion, social norms. It's just all about security, after all. But it all just looked like a sweet golden jail to me. I tried to escape that. Yeah. Hope it was worth it. It was. For now, I found my place in the world, with like-minded people. I'm at peace with my fuck-ups and my decisions. How do you make peace with bailing on your parents, your husband? And your kids. I know, that's hard to understand. But I think people should know who they are. And not fake it for anybody. I mean, I get you wanted to leave and stuff, okay? But why would you ghost us like that? Not even a fucking birthday card. I just... I thought if I vanished, you would all move on. But I wanted to contact you guys so many times. I almost did. But you wanted a clean break from us. I didn't want to be a part-time, pissed-off mother. Not fair to any of you. I left when Daniel was still very young, so he wouldn't remember me. Yeah. I wasn't that lucky. Oh, Sean. I know. Do you want to tell me how you felt then? Or now? Honestly? I didn't feel anything. I just kind of deleted you. And nobody would blame you. Not me. I hope I can make it up to you, Daniel. Someday. I can start by getting his ass out of that church. Cult. Whatever. So, did you ever actually miss us? Or Dad? Of course, Sean. I do miss your father. He had such a big heart. He could brighten up a rainy day. That was like his superpower. But above all, I missed watching you grow up. See how you saw the world. I missed sharing these moments with you. Well, that's your loss. I don't expect you to believe me. But I mean it. Whatever. You sound so... careless. It's like you can't even realize how much pain you've caused. I do care. That's why I'm here. To help you and your brother. If I didn't step up to help him now, I couldn't live with myself. Hey, um, mind if I bum a smoke? Sure. Still got a few left. Hmm. Wow. I haven't seen that lighter in ages. Your dad loved that thing. I know. Only thing I have left of his. No oh, man. Esteban hated when I smoked. He didn't want me to die an early death. Fuck. 
Life can be so cynical sometimes. I remember he would smoke sometimes. Long ago. We didn't fight much, but when we did, I would go out on the porch and light up so I could calm down. Esteban would come over and ask for a drag. Now we just look up at the sky and watch the stars or the planes. I do miss that. I used to do the same thing with my best friend Lila. Smoking on the porch, just letting time go. That's when you know someone is good to you. When you can just sit together, <laughs> shut the hell up, and watch the universe do its own thing. We should go back inside. I gotta change this dressing. Okay. Let's go. Sean, I know I can't change the past. Or what I did, but this is about helping your brother. You gotta trust me this one time. I know. It's still hard. But yes, we have to be a team to rescue Daniel. We can do it. Okay. How? We need to get in touch with this Jacob. He obviously knows a lot more than us about the church. Well, I called him when you were out. We can meet with him tomorrow. Okay, good. I also got these, just in case. Okay. Better take care of the eye. So, do you need any help with that? Yes. Thanks. So... You feel like telling me the story here? When we have time. Gotcha. Here, try this on. How do I look? Great. Thank you, Karen. Big day tomorrow, so we should get some rest. Yeah. I'm ready to get Daniel.
sure he's gonna show up? He better. He promised. Well, if he doesn't find us, we'll find him. I can't believe how much crap you guys have been through. Makes me want to punch in the face each and every asshole that got in your way. Yeah. Good thing we got to meet amazing people, too. Life on the road is all about that. The sweet encounters. Hope I can see them again someday. Oh, you will. So tell me about Daniel. What's he like? Well, he's definitely... special. Hope so. He's your brother, right? Heads up. Is that him? Yep. Wait here. Sean! What happened? Jake, I'm not mad, but you better explain everything. I didn't know where else to go. Listen, I, I saw Daniel come back to the camp that night. Like he was in shock or something. Then I heard all these sirens and I got scared. I just, I packed a few things, I, I took a blanket from your tent and we, we left together. I also kept the cash you made on the farm. You did right, Jake. Thank you. You have no idea what he looked like when I found him that night, Sean. He was in bad shape, with a gunshot wound, and all by himself. I, 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 I couldn't just leave him there. So, you came back here after you escaped, but with a dazed little boy, and everybody was cool with that? Trust me, it was not an easy thing for me to come back. And... Yeah, they took us in. That's what they do here. They take people in. Except they didn't want to take me in yesterday. I'm telling you to be careful with the Reverend Mother. She's waited her whole life for somebody like Daniel. The Reverend knows how to manipulate people. She's good at this. He wants to stay with her. Daniel has faith in the Reverend now. Yeah. Not afraid of that Lisbeth of yours. I'm getting Daniel out of here. Uh, come on. There's no way they're gonna let you take him away. Well, too bad. We're not gonna ask for their permission. You must be Jacob. I'm Karen. Hi. Okay. I don't know if you want to do this, but I... I have an idea. I think school must be over by now, but Lisbeth will stay at the church with Daniel for his special classes. That'll give us time to sneak into the compound before we get to them. I'll be on the lookout. Keep watch in case it all goes to shit. Sean, stay on the walkie. Sounds like a plan. One more thing. I, uh, we have to get my sister too. Sarah Lee. <laughs> really, Jacob? Come on, man. She's with your parents. I know. Please, listen, Sean. She's not safe here. She's sick. They believe in everything Lisbeth says. And she says she'll cure Sarah with prayers. I know you understand. Right? Damn, Jake. We need his help too, Sean. Okay, Jake. I'm listening. Lisbeth knows what's wrong with Sarah Lee. We just, we need to find her medical record. I think it's in her home office. Then I'll go get Sarah Lee while you get Daniel. Okay? Fine. Sure. I'm gonna trust you on this, Jacob. All good for you, Karen. What if Daniel won't go with you? He will. I know him.
Karen? I'm in place. I can see the whole camp. Let me know if you need anything. Be careful, Sean. Got it. Thanks. We gotta be careful now. If anything happens, let me do the talking, okay? Yeah, of course. Let's get this over with. Okay. Elizabeth's house is right behind the church, so in and out. Okay. And you sure Elizabeth will have those files on your sister? Watch out, Sean. There are people right outside. Oh, shit. How many? Just three. A man with his kid on one side, and a woman alone on the other. Got it. Thanks. People aren't supposed to come and go around the church once the service is over. Better to avoid them if we can. So, did you grow up out of here? No. In another community back east. When Elizabeth came out here to start Haven Point, my folks followed her and brought me along. Hmm. Must have been hard on you. Kinda. Eight-year-olds don't want to go to church all day. We did it. Now we have a little bit more time. Yes, we do. Nice work. So where are the files? Right there, in her office. Ugh. Of course it's locked. Her open door speech is just another lie. We gotta find a way in. Fuck. Think there's a key somewhere? Maybe she's too cautious not to have a spare set around. Is this Daniel's room? Yeah. Man. It's depressing. Well, Elizabeth doesn't believe in material possessions, so... Doesn't mean you need to decorate your house like a prison. Petty like to have it back. Once he's out of this... Mess. Uh, Sean, hey, you, you think that's a good idea? Hell yeah. Oh, perfect. Whoa. Is this her personal archive or something? Yeah. She keeps track of everything in here. Stuff about my sister must be in this one. Okay, I've got something. Must be what you're looking for. Damn. She has pneumonia? And for what I get, Lisbeth knows damn well she needs medical treatment. That's criminal. She's insane. Look. She has a file on you, too. <laughs> you can take a peek. And see how she really treats her flock. Man. What's all this? Were you, like, sick? Conversion therapy? Did they... <sighs> wanted to cure you from... being... <sighs> Pretty much. I always showed more interest in boys than girls. <laughs> they thought I was a freak. Is that why you... ran away? Yep. <laughs> Took me five years to understand what was up. I was too scared. Confused. I really did believe I was a sinner, so I thought I had to atone for my sins. Atone? For what sins? I don't get how they can preach this kind of crap. I mean... You met Finn and everyone. Are they sinners then? Of course not. I, I just didn't know different, Sean. I believed them. Damn, Jake. After a few years, I... was in a really bad place. I... I tried to hurt myself. Elizabeth was... Very upset. We had a long chat. She told me I should leave. 
go see the world and figure things out. I, I don't really get her, Sean. But Elizabeth does believe in all of this stuff. I had no clue about your life here. I'm... I'm sorry, Jake. I'm sorry I brought Daniel here. I was just so blown away when I saw what he could do. It was like a real miracle. I, I thought I'd... I'd found my faith again. Instead, I... I just heard him. You didn't know this would happen, Jake. His powers tripped me out, too. Don't worry. We'll get him out. I hope so. And I'll get my sister to a hospital. Have her treated. I hope they'll help her. Keep our money. For your sister. She needs it. Oh, I, I can't do that, Sean. That, that, that's a lot of... We're okay. It will cover her medical bills. Wow. Thank you, Sean. Sean, are you there? <sighs> What's up? You got company. That thug who works for Elizabeth. He's just holding some files. Doesn't seem to be on to you. This guy is dangerous, Sean. Hey, trust me. I have a good plan to get him out of your way. He'll give you more time. Yeah. See what you can do. Sean, we gotta hide. Now. What the? Hello? Is someone there? What the fuck is going on? Sean, do you think... It's gotta be Karen. Oh, he's gone. Let's get out of here. What is it? I think that's the file Nicholas had. Take a look. What? Is she trying to adopt Daniel? Exactly. And she's doing it under the table, of course. Man. Look at that. <laughs> Your mom is hardcore, Sean. Yeah. I guess she is. So we're all good now? I'll go get Sarah Lee while you get Daniel. Then let's meet up at the car, okay? All right. You be careful, okay? You too, Sean. Good luck. So you know what you're gonna do? No. Well, let's do it. Oh, Lord. Let your power speak through this young vessel. I am your humble Sean. servant and will obey what the hell your is this? every command. Speak to me. It's Daniel. Speak. I told you, he's kind of special. Hey. Sean! You came back? And I know. Little cub. Come with me, Daniel. We're leaving. What? No. I'm not going anywhere. She's full of shit, dude. And she's using you. Daniel has made his choice, Sean. But I'm offering you to join us again. Put your faith in me. And you'll be family. Never. So that's your final decision. May the Lord have mercy on your lost soul. It's time for you to leave our sanctuary. Right now. Not without my brother. I'm not going anywhere. This is my home. She's my family now. Daniel, listen. 
She's not your family. Sean? Who is she? Our mother. She came here. For you. Oh, praise the Lord. Another miracle at our church. Wonderful. Uh, it's all right, Daniel. Go see her. I mean, she's right there. Don't be afraid. I... Uh, I don't know her. Of course. I know. This is hard for you, my son. Stop calling him that. You're just manipulating him, you sicko. That's in the eye of the beholder. But since you are his mother, let me ask you. How could you let your child wander alone in the wilderness? Where were you when Daniel was lost? Where? Listen, Daniel. I came here as soon as I found out you were here on your own. I'm not on my own. Children are a gift from the Lord. They are a reward from Him. You were blessed with a divine gift. And you cast Him out into the world. Who the hell are you? You might have been His mother once, but when you abandoned Him, you also gave up your rights. Isn't your God all about forgiveness? You have no idea what the Bible says. How can you pretend to care about these two children? You left them and your husband to seek out your base desires. Daniel, honey, she's trying to trick you. Please, think by yourself. You're smarter than this. Daniel, she's responsible for what happened to your father. You don't know anything. It was an accident. That's what this world is about. Accidents, injustice, pain. I'm just so sorry, Daniel. I know. I know how much I hurt you and your brother by leaving. I know that's not enough, but... I hope we can talk about this together. That's what I've been trying to tell your brother, and I'm so glad he listened. You gotta trust us. She's using you for her selfish desires. Daniel, this time the choice is yours. Are you going to believe her or me? I... Uh, I... That's right. You can't tempt Daniel from this garden. He'll stay with us, his true family. And we'll never leave him. Go to hell. Come on, Daniel. No! Stop! Holy shit. Reverend! Are you okay? Nicholas! They're, they're heretics! Sent to desecrate our, our church! Okay. What now? Don't you understand? This is over, Sean. You have to talk to him. You can convince him, Sean. I won't leave you, Daniel. Not here. Don't be so stubborn, Sean. Your brother chose his path. Your friend, Sarah Lee? She's very sick. And Lisbeth won't take her to a doctor. What? She wouldn't do this that. This is pointless. Daniel knows who to trust. Don't listen to her religious bullshit. You need to have faith in yourself, not in her. But you said heaven and God existed. Why are you lying? You're right. He's wicked, unfaithful. She's doing paperwork to adopt you and change your last name, Inano. Dad's name. Are you okay with that? What? I... No! I didn't know! Is that why that card said Daniel Fisher? <laughs> of course not! He's making everything up! Don't believe his lies, Daniel! I found a letter from Karen, her mother, inside her house. She hid it from you, so you never know. She's looking for you. What? You told me she didn't want to see me. See what 
what you have done. Hey, Inano. Ah, back off. No one is gonna keep me away from you. I said, stop! <sighs> Don't. I came all this way for you, and nobody will stop me. I'll even cross hell or whatever if I need to. Sean! He must learn. Listen. I know I wasn't a great brother. I was an asshole. I took you for granted. I put you in danger, and I'm sorry. Sean! Don't listen to him. He left you just like that harlot did. Shut him up. He can hit me as much as he wants. I won't give up on you. Uh, Don't hit uh, him. Don't let them do that, Daniel. If I could go back in time, I would. We'd be in our living room in Seattle. That would get us pizza and snacks, then pick the movie, because we would always fight about it. He always picked your movie. But I can't do that. All I can do now is fight. Quiet! What are you waiting for? We're the best team in Anno. Stop so it! We have to keep going no. forward. What are You're you gonna doing? kill him? Please! He's my brother! You can burn down our church, but not our faith. Daniel knows you're telling the truth. Don't give up. Nothing. Nothing is gonna stop me, Daniel. We're brothers. I know. Dad always said our blood link was the most important thing. You know. Uh, please! Uh, stop! Uh, Leave him uh, alone! Daniel, uh, listen to him. I won't stop. No matter what she does. I'll come right back. Again. And again. <laughs> I love you, Daniel. I do too. <laughs> She'd shut him up now! Don't move. Just stop. If you want to kill me, then do it. I'm not afraid. Do it! Shoot! Don't! Go ahead. What? Shoot me in the face. And live with it. Now! Daniel! Sean! I'm sorry. Sorry. I was so confused. I thought she was someone else. I'm sorry. Sean. We need to get out of here. Now. Oh no. No. You started this fire. You will all burn in this hell. This is your fault. Your... Sean. Wait, Daniel. She really did try to use me. And she hurt you. She's bad. Don't do it. Don't. Look what she's done to you. Answer me. She manipulates everyone. She deserves it. She's just... you just... she's dead. It, it was her or us. Open the door, Daniel. Let's go.
in peace until hunters took their dad away. The wolf brothers wandered for days and nights, learning how to live on their own for the first time. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. They decided to head south to the distant land of their ancestors. But the journey was long and dangerous. Still, the Wolf Brothers made new friends on the way. They learned more about the world. But danger seemed to always follow them after a bad accident. They were separated. The big brother had been hurt, and the hunters finally captured him. They put him in a cage, but when he finally escaped, he went to search for his little brother. He soon found out that the little wolf had joined a coyote cult, and he would not leave them. Suddenly, their mother showed up after all that time. She said she came to help rescue him. They begged the coyote leader, but she would not release the little wolf. He was their idol. So the little brother got so angry, he killed her. The wolf brothers, now reunited, followed their rogue mother far into the desert to her hideaway. Up, Sean. Mm. Dude, come on. What? What time is it? Get up. It's so beautiful. Check it out.
<laughs> so? Yeah, okay. Good call. Wow. That's amazing. I know. Is your eye okay? Yeah. It just itches. It's okay, Nano. I... Promise. Yeah. Uh, okay. I love you. No matter what happens. You hear me? Yeah. I love you too. Brothers. Always. So, are you still having those bad dreams? You know, about Lisbeth? No. I guess. I don't feel that bad about what I did. Maybe. That's bad. Not in this case. It was her or us. You did what you had to do, and I know. I know. She was so nice at first. Nobody can tell me what to do with my power. Especially her. Yeah, but with great power, you know the drill. I know, I know. I'll be careful. Don't worry. Sean. Are we criminals now? No way. We did exactly what we had to. If the cops catch us, we'll be judged for what we did. That's for sure. I won't let them get us. Well, we're almost at the border. Finally. I like it here, but... We'll have to leave soon. I know. I'm sorry, Anano. Sean... I know it's been a long time. Can you tell me the rest of... the wolf story? Oh. Yeah. I can tell you. <sighs> been forever since we left off. Way... too long. Hmm... Let's see. Oh yeah. Okay. So... Thanks to their mama wolf... The Wolf Brothers barely escaped from the Coyote Cult. She led them to her secret lair, deep in the Red Desert. The Wolf Brothers rested for a while, but at some point, they'd have to continue their journey south. They were closer than ever to their father's land, but between them and their destination, lied... The evil Chupacabra. And they would have to fight it together. Uh, um, excuse me. Who's telling the story? You are. But it's my story too. Right? <laughs> yeah. That's true. Okay then. So what happens next? Uh, okay. So the Wolf Brothers encounter the evil Chupacabra. And he attacks them. He's very dangerous. But the little wolf uses his powers to crush him. They arrive in the magic land as heroes. Because they have defeated the beast. Okay, Stephen King Jr. You win. Let's pack this shit up and head back to town. Ooh, sketching time. Good idea. My back hurts a little. I'm glad we're sleeping in our bed tonight. Tada. Finished. Let me check it out. 
Oh, yeah. Now that's a badass superhero you don't want to mess with. So incredible to see all those stars and planets up close. I swear Dad had that same book in the garage. Yeah, I think he did. Why did he never show it to us? Maybe it reminded him of Mom too much. Oh. Yeah, right. I hope we can go watch the stars again. Mom said there's a moon eclipse coming up soon. <laughs> I'm in. This place is cool. I could just move here. On the way. Let's clean up this mess. Not if it cleans up by itself. <sighs> Stop. Daniel. Can't catch it, huh? <laughs> no shit. Now cut it out. Jeez, you're no fun. Yo, Captain Can, can you take these away? Sure. And no funny business. Of course not. Perfect formation. Well, let's hit the trail, cowboy. What are you doing? Dude, we don't have time to play. Come on, let's go. <sighs> okay, okay. I wish we saw more falling stars. Or any. <laughs> Daniel, I see something behind this rock. Can you bring it over? Ah, oh, gotcha. I see. Here it comes. Oh, look at that. So cool. Yep. We're taking this treasure. So... Maybe you can help us get out of here? Mm, I'll try. Step back. Be super careful. <sighs> Boom. Easy peasy. <laughs> nice, man. see what Joanne is doing. Go for it. I have to bring back the telescope to Stanley and Arthur. Went to town for weekly supplies. Some pancakes left in the kitchen? <laughs> back soon. Daniel, you copy? Yes, I read you. 10-4. I have a pancake alert in the kitchen. Repeat. Pancake alert. Whatever. Joanne has waffles. Over and out. 10-4. No flying pancakes today. Nice mess. 
Daniel will never change. <laughs> Karen doesn't even like to leave this place just to go shop here. Hey, your Captain Spirit drawing was awesome. <laughs> Thanks. Wish I could show it to Chris. Do you think he can visit us down in Puerto Lobos? Yep. Let's make it happen. Yeah. Instead of snowmen, we can make sandcastles. David always wants to help. But he's tough to figure out. Hey, what's up? Morning, Sean. Join us. Have a seat. Hey, just in time for our special desert brew. And dust free. Thanks. So much. Sean, it's too early to be so awake. No kidding. Hey, how was your sleepover in the canyon? <sighs> Amazing. We watched the sunrise. Daniel loved it too. That's my favorite view out here. It's like ancient times, but it never gets old. Unlike us, darling. That canyon will be here long after we're gone. Hope you looked up. We did. Thanks for hooking us up. <laughs> Anytime. Even my daughter Becky loves to stargaze when she visits us. That's the only way to get Arthur to camp now. Becky is the real astronomer in the family. Wonder where she got this. From her mom, probably. Hope you guys get to meet Becky. Does she come visiting often? <sighs> Not as much as I'd want. Can't really blame her. But you know, well, some parts of the year this place is full of friends and family. Christmas, for example. So, why did you come out here? Because we got tired of people's bullshit. Things change. But being gay is still dangerous. The end. Sean, I'm almost 60, and I was a happily married man for 20 years. Until I came out. I don't blame my family for being in shock, but I didn't think they'd disown me. My other daughters won't even talk to me anymore. So why stay? <sighs> After we got together, we both had serious breakdowns. Then we got the hell out of the Bay Area. For the better. <sighs> I hear that. I'm just so fucking tired of running. I hope me and Daniel find our own... away. You will. People come here to reset their life. Become the person they want to be. Or used to be. You're smart. You'll figure out your next direction. Right, Gramps? Speak for yourself, Grandpa. My body might be 59, but I'm 25. <laughs> uh-huh. I'll remember that on the next hike. I'm gonna see what Daniel's up to. Thanks for the desert, Brew. These two remind me of Claire and Steven. In a weird, hippie version. Hey, Sean. What were you doing at Arthur and Stanley's place? You're a little too young to be stalking me, dude. Um, you know what? I saw them kissing the other day. Kinda weird. You know it's actually normal for people in love to kiss, right? I know. I just mean, they're really cute together. I hope somebody cares about me like that when I get old. Hey, mm. artist, come by Joanne's place. We're making Donnie. wild sculptures. Do you think he'll be back from Hold up. Someday? I'll be over in a minute. I didn't know he ever left. <laughs> now that's some Gosh, real patriots. You live in your own world, honey. That's what I love about you. This place is such a trip. It's kind of like a desert mirage. You think you can see it, but the closer you get, it changes. I thought the people here would be like freaks, but they're just sick of the bullshit. Now I sound like a local. I guess I'm always gonna be a visitor.
I love how they recycle everything into art, construction, or agriculture here. What's up, Joanne? See for yourself. Man, check this out. Okay, Daniel, let's take a little break. Got it. That child is something special. Yeah, I hear this one a lot. Don't worry. Mm, yeah, I bet. <laughs> but you have your own talent, Sean. I'm dead serious. I don't know. It's just... doodles and shit. No big yeah. deal. I thought my sculptures were shit, too. Compared to all the dope stuff that was being done. But every artist is fucking unique, Sean. We all got something to bring to the world. Did you always want to be an artist? <laughs> Good grief, no. I tried very hard not to be one. Until I realized it was useless. Listen, if you want to be an artist, you will be. <laughs> it's not always easy. But in the end, it's pretty fucking cool. Speaking of, do you mind giving me a hand here? Oh, uh, I don't know if I can. Yes, you can. I just need your input, okay? <sighs> okay. Sure. <laughs> Why not? Ah, there you go. Now, go stand over there. Daniel, you ready to start again? Oh, yes. Hold on. So, for my next trick, I'd love to see if you can connect these three pieces. I've made a model of what I have in mind here, but go ahead and be the artist. And we don't need a crane to lift this stuff. <laughs> Daniel can snap these together like block toys. Hell yeah. Let's do this. Can you... slam dunk the earth ball onto the base? Watch this layup! You should totally do like the model, but with the spider on top. Now, let's throw on that spider. Watch this. Hmm. Now, let's move Mr. Pancake's head onto the pedestal. Check it out. Be careful, Daniel. Don't want you to get hurt. I feel like we're almost done. Well, I think this is it. Looks good to me. Only if the muse approves. Not what I had in mind, but it's still cool. <laughs> you did a great job, Inanna. Well, Sean, Daniel, I think art might be in your family DNA. There's no escape. I think we're done for the day. Thank you so much for your help. Okay. <laughs> that was fun. Joanne is so chill about her art. That's what makes her talented. I bet you would like Minecraft. It, it, it's kinda like this. Yeah. That's cool, Joanne trusted me it. to help build her it's sculpture. A video game, right? Yes. And you can build whatever you want in it. Ooh, you have to show me then. Ahoy, matey. I found a map of a way. Yeah. Don't lose it because you'll need it to match up with the other part. <laughs> Got it. Now, arr, for the second item, you'll need to find something that eats the sun. Uh-huh. Sure. You're warming up. <laughs> found it. Nice. And it's a tracing paper sheet with a red cross. Treasure is yours, Captain Diaz. 
Ahoy, matey. I think I have the whole treasure map. Dude, we could put red food coloring in the water and turn this into a blood tank. Oh, yes. Then I should be zomboy fighting vampires. Sucks that we can't get food coloring out here. Just look around. Ooh, looks like something's buried here. Yes! I think I have found the hidden treasure. <laughs> yeah! I knew you could do it. I found this under an old trailer. Looks like gold, right? Um, I'm not a prospector, but it looks like the real deal. Storm! You know what time it is. Victory! Dance time! Come on! Dance! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> you asked for it. back. Gotta empty that truck. This is such a weird fucking place. But that's what's cool about hey. it. Glad to see you survived the night in the desert. Hey, what's up? Hey, good morning. <laughs> Howdy, Sean. How was the town trip? <laughs> Hate these trips. People look at us as if we're aliens. Here come the sand people. <laughs> the deserters have returned with offerings from Das Kapital. Jolie! <laughs> oh, I missed you. Next time, you're coming with us. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Looking good. What's your secret? Defying death on a daily basis. And hide rating. Oh, right. Can't forget your goodies. Hey, thanks, Angel. <laughs> Here. Ah, uh, you're the man, Karen. Catch you later. Take care. Hey, so how did you guys like your night in the canyon? It was amazing. So many stars. So quiet. Good call, Karen. I knew you'd like it, stargazer. Glad you got to see that. Hi, Mom. How was the town? Town life always sucks. <laughs> but we got something for you. Think fast. Whoa, yes! Thanks, David. <laughs> you want to play catch, Danny boy? Totally. Me and Dad always used to play, but I'm way better now. No matter what he's been through, he just wants to be a kid <laughs> and play. Yep, Daniel hasn't been like this in forever. You've all been a good influence on him. About time you boys went camping. Hope Daniel didn't get scared by all the critters. <laughs> nah. Been a while since Daniel's been afraid of animals. Or anything. He knows he's the bigger threat. You're right. And he does like to show off. Maybe too much. <laughs> you boys have been here over a month. And I still can't get over Daniel's... <sighs> skills. <laughs> Me neither. But I never figured it out, so... I don't try anymore. That kind of power is dangerous, Sean. He's a walking weapon. Never met someone with a superpower before. I try to be a good influence. Not always easy, but he listens to me. Maybe I even fucked him up more. <sighs> Listen, raising a kid is the toughest job in the world. Trust me, combat was easier. Oh, you didn't tell me you were married. Eh, used to be. We're divorced now. Her daughter's death left her heart broken. Same for me. We just couldn't put our pieces back together after what happened. I'm sorry, David. And yeah, the worst thing is, I never had the chance to do the right thing for my stepdaughter. Before she died. We were like oil and water, and she was always starting shit. Guess that's hard for a kid to get a new father. Especially one like me. 
I just had no clue how to deal with her. Wish I did. Anyway, you can't go back. <sighs> nope. Thanks for talking, David. Better start my delivery now. Found some weird snacks in town. Arthur's gonna freak. <laughs> Catch you later, Sean. Oh. <laughs> okay. Time out. Oh my God. I'm gonna melt. That was awesome, Mom. Now I know why they don't play baseball in the desert. You throw way better than Sean. <laughs> <laughs> We're not done out here yet. Let's get this food inside before it melts. No problem. She is so cool. You think? <laughs> Joanne is so cool. Stanley's so cool. The heat is so cool. <laughs> You're way too easy, bro. Whatever. Can't help it if I like Karen. <laughs> just be you and I know. I'm just saying. Don't get too cozy here. This is a rest stop. I know. I have to admit, I do miss that Pacific Northwest weather sometimes. Yeah, I bet. You've been here over a month now. What do you think of our little oasis? This place is like another world. Don't even know how to describe it. <laughs> I think you just did. It has a unique atmosphere. That's why people come here from all over the country for their own reasons. Not perfect, but it works. It is so peaceful out here. Guess that's what everybody's really looking for. Peace. You're probably right. Yes, I still feel like we're really privileged out here. There's bad shit going on in this desert. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you can ever really get away from everything. You can't escape reality. Even here. We just live slightly apart from it. So... How did you end up here? <laughs> this place is not on the map. Like most of us, I was first brought here by someone. Maggie. After I failed to make it in New York, I was lucky enough to meet her down in Florida. She's had a tough life. This place was her getaway. She's long gone now, but... Her name is still written all over this place. <sighs> well... Thanks for bringing us here. Oh, Sean. I'm glad I was able to help you. By the way, can you grab your evil little bro so we can all talk? Is everything okay? Uh, yeah, I just thought we could spend this day together. Just the three of us. Big brother to Superwolf? We need you at Karen's trailer. Copy? <laughs> Hola. Hola, compadre. How about a trek around the canyon today? You in? Totally. Let's pack then. should have camped near that little creek. It was so perfect. Nah. You'll need a good night's sleep after all this. And the car's just half a mile down the path. This place makes for a pretty cool bedroom, though. Man. I'm beat. Oh, sorry. Just got one last thing to show you guys. I can't get enough of this place. <sighs> <sighs> Come on, Daniel. Give me your hand. <clears throat> <sighs> <sighs> huh. 
Slow down, Mom. You walk too fast. More walk, less talk. <laughs> then you'll pass me up. <sighs> Guys, check this out. Now this is nature's art. It's so big. And pretty. And so quiet. Except for the birds of prey. Shh. Listen. Serious? If we're lucky, yeah. A wolf. Better be careful of hunters out here. Oh, whatever. The wolf brothers aren't afraid of any hunter. You must hide all the time, Mom. There's not a lot to do, but it's enough for me. Good thing Joanne likes to come with me. Oh, I bet she would be fun to go hiking with. Well, not when I go too fast. She's all about the journey. We usually find a good pace. Uh, <laughs> usually. Joanne is like Sean. They make art, so they stop to look at stuff. You're way more like me. Fast. Yeah, I am like you, Daniel. So let's hurry up. I love to come here to get away from... <laughs> away. <laughs> I bet. It's the best spot. <laughs> Let's sit down. So, hey. I do appreciate that you guys stuck around this long. Thank you. <laughs> you actually helped us. You gave us a place to recharge and... lay low. No kidding. I was so beat down after Haven Point. <sighs> I know. <sighs> this is the best place to take some time for yourself. You don't get that chance very often in life. Just know I love both of you so much. I know you had it rough lately, but it'll be better when you're settled. By the way, um, if you wanted to, you could come with us to Mexico. That would be cool. I would love to come see you settled into a new home. You're almost there, but I have to be upfront with both of you. What happened in Haven Point is catching up on us. Huh? What do you mean? When we were in town, uh, we saw some stories in the papers. The feds are definitely tracking us down in the region. Shit. And they'll find us. Well... Figures. This couldn't last forever. So... This is it? See you, Nana. We'll leave tomorrow. Can you hand me that bag, Sean? That's why I brought you back here. I made these for the 4th of July, but this is better. Oh, I love those things.
Um, are you guys all set up to leave? No. So that's we have to leave again. Why can't everybody leave us alone? Oh, oh honey. How far is the border? Not that far. Uh, maybe a five or six hours drive. It won't be easy crossing that border. So I'm gonna give you a head start from the police. Wait, how? What's your plan? The cops are after me too for what happened in Nevada. So they can catch me instead of you. Fair trade. That's bullshit, Mom. Don't give up. Don't. <sighs> It's not about me right now. We need to get your asses to Puerto Lobos. Thank you. So much, Karen. I knew what I was doing when I came to Haven Point looking for your brother. I felt it was the right thing to do. And I feel the same today. You have to stay true to yourselves. But it's hard when somebody or something gets in the way. It can get ugly. You have to find some sort of balance. Fuck the rules. We'll do whatever we can to survive. We already did. I know. You did what you had to, to protect your brother all the way from Seattle to Arizona. And I'm sorry. You had to make hard decisions to stay safe. But sometimes, you just have no other choice. Okay, this is the last roundup. Wait, let me say bye to Joanne. All right. I'm gonna go do one last checkup on the truck before you hit it. And don't forget what we talked about. It's your life, Sean. Uh, you should go see David. He has something for you. Okay. Hey, Mom. I know you're better with words than me, but... Still, here it goes. It took me some time, but I think I get why you are who you are. Maybe we're not that different. Please don't give up on your freedom, okay? It's the best thing you've taught us. We'll reach you once we find our own freedom. Thank you so much. Love. Sean. <laughs> Sean. Hey. Karen said you wanted to see me? Yeah, but go grab that police scanner inside first. I gotta put these new plates on the car. Sure. Come on. I'll join you when I'm done. I feel you, David. Weird. Didn't know David was so punk rock. Must be his ex-wife. He's changed so much since this. And not for the best. That's right. I never saw David even drink a beer. Okay, how does this thing work? Uh, okay. Only gotta search between 140 and 160. Hope you're having a lovely morning on mm -hmm. string quartet. Nope, definitely not. This place has too many adults. 
what I'm gonna miss. Mm. Doesn't sound like cops. Another hit from the backwoods on Dusty Rocks FM. Hooking you up all day long with... Uh... No. Wait. Uh... 136, <laughs> listening. We've got reports of a 1010 Wait, down by... Wait, is this it? Sam's? Oh, shit. I can't... Uh, ten four, <sighs> now we can spy on the cops all the way to Mexico. Copy that. <laughs> Thanks, David. You big rebel. Mom's car is all ready to roll. Did you get the police scanner? <sighs> yep. And I found the police frequency. How about that? Good job. Now, you'll always want to know what they're up to. No surprises on your way to the border. All right. This is the fastest route. When you get there, cross between these two stations. Now. You have to exit the main road and drive through the desert for a while. But Karen's car should be okay. You got all that? Hmm. <laughs> sure. I think so. Sean, you have to know. The police are on your ass. Y you only get one chance here. I'm not trying to be a dick. Just... Honest. I know, David. Thanks. Here. Have a seat. I don't mean to order you around. Bad habits die hard. And yes, I was suspicious when Karen showed up with you two. But after watching you and your little brother for a while, I think I get what you're going through. Your experience forms you as a person. And I imagine all the shit you've seen and how it's changed you. Pretty much. Not comparing myself, but I had to go through my own hell. In war and at home. I didn't know how to deal with emotions or other people. Are you talking about your stepdaughter? Yeah. Some rich fucking kid shot her at school where I was supposed to protect her. Me and her hated each other on sight. But once I lost her, everything became clear. How selfish and stupid I'd been. I should have listened to Chloe. Instead of being a bully, all of my fuck-ups are crystal clear now. But I'm not gonna fuck this up. Sean, I'm gonna do everything I can to help you get out of here. That's my duty now. But I want to be straight up with you, okay? Yeah, of course. I know you guys got screwed. That you think there's no other way out. And you're neck deep in trouble, all right. But you and Daniel can't just hide out forever. Is that how you see yourself in 10 years? You're still young. I bet they'd be lenient if you step up and face the law. We've come too far now. We just want a new life. That's it. I understand. I do. I'm trying to be the adult. You're too young to be dealing with 
all this. And Daniel is growing up fast. Too fast. <laughs> That's what I'm worried about. You made it here. So, I know you're on the right path. <laughs> oh. Uh, sorry. I really have to take this. Hey, Joyce. Right on time. Oh, need any help? Just checking out the levels and cleaning up the filters. I didn't know you were such a gearhead. Oh, Sean, this is basic car maintenance. And I may not be a pro like your father was, but I, I got some solid skills. I have to, out here. Yeah, sorry. I'm the newbie. I never really got into cars and stuff. <laughs> Esteban was obsessed with his engines. That doesn't mean you had to be, too. Yeah. He only wanted me to find my own way. Whatever that was. Wish I had more time. Listen, Esteban loved you and Daniel for exactly who you are. He would be proud that you're going back to his homeland today. Wish he was here with us. It's bullshit that we get to see Puerto Lobos, but he doesn't. I know. But Esteban is still with you, and he always wanted you and Daniel to see where he came from. I don't know anything about Mexico. It's scary. Sean, you're carrying the weight of two people on your shoulders now. It's okay to be nervous. I'm just tired of running. Of causing trouble everywhere we go. Daniel's power is overwhelming, and we don't know where it comes from. But you do know your brother. You'll be there for each other. I'm scared shitless. I don't, I'm not even sure I can do this. Or if we can start a new life. But I'm the only one that can take him to safety. Your brother sure isn't a little kid anymore. He had to grow up too fast. You're gonna have to learn to trust him and let go, even if that scares you sometimes. Maybe you're right. You'll figure it out like you always do. Okay, better get back to my tune-up. All right, I'll make one last round before leaving. I came by to say adios. We're taking off today. No, you're not. Really? Everything okay? Yeah, just time to go. Well, shit. Wish you and Daniel could stay longer. <laughs> Thanks. But the sooner we cross the border, the better. No worries. No worries? Bullshit. That's all we're gonna do until you make it. We will. Thanks to you. And everyone here. You gave us a place to breathe. Sean, I won't drag this out and get bitter. Besides, you and Daniel will be back to visit, right? We'll try. I'm glad this place will be our last U.S. memory. You and your little brother will always have friends here. And a home. <laughs> okay. I'm done babbling. I just hate goodbyes. I know you're both gonna have a great life in Mexico. You better. Uh, we... We're gonna make it work. Shit. I'm gonna miss you guys. Take care. You hear? Watch out for Daniel. He needs you. Be safe. And send us a postcard to the beach. Hey, what's going on? Mm, I'm taking a look at this baby with hindsight. So, what do you think? Looks very cool. I can totally tell what you're doing. <laughs> Good, that makes one of us. But I like it. Of course, you and Daniel, 
It did inspire me. I love it. So, you guys leaving now? Yeah, just wanted to say goodbye. Ah, uh, that's sweet. <laughs> You're so sweet. Your brother is so sweet. Having you boys around <laughs> was the sweetest thing. This is for all your help. Really? Whoa. That's great. Uh, do I get anything? <laughs> your name is on a way bigger sculpture. For everyone to see. That's true. I didn't think about that. Yeah, your brother needed a little something to remind him of the artist inside. <laughs> Wicked. Okay, one big hug. And get out of here before we all start crying like babies. <laughs> Thank you, Joanne, for everything. Just please take care of yourself. And my special apprentice. <laughs> no worries. We always do. Hey, is it okay if I hang out a bit longer? <laughs> if it's okay with her. Oh, are you kidding? I need more help. So long, Sean. Don't be a stranger. Daniel, do you copy? It's time to wrap it up. Be right there. Over. So, did you get to say goodbye to away? Yeah. Kind of sad. I know. Are we leaving yet? We have to, Inanna. Come here. Mom... I... I'm gonna miss you. I'll miss you too, Danny. It means so much to me that I got to see you. I know life has not been fair. But you're brave and strong. You're gonna make it to Mexico. Just watch out for your power, Daniel. And your big brother. Okay, Mom. Thank you. Well, Sean, this is it. Thanks, Mom, for being there. Thanks for letting me, son. <sighs> Let's hit the road. boys stay safe this hurts bye everybody something wrong? We're almost there, okay? <laughs> That's the last time I have to say that. I don't care about that. So... What's the problem? What... What are we gonna do in Puerto Lobos? We don't know anybody. We're like strangers. How long can we live there? <sighs> um... 
as long as we want. We have a house there. That's what Dad wanted, Inano. So, what are we gonna do for money and stuff? I get a job, man. It won't be hard. You can probably go to school. Dude, I can't even speak Spanish. How can I make friends or do anything if I can't talk? Everybody likes you, man. You'll be the cool American kid in no time. I can do that. Maybe. You fit in everywhere we go. And we'll get to hang out, too. Um... Well, that sounds okay. I guess. Daniel... I get scared, too, you know? But we'll be... We'll be fine. Okay. I trust you. a giant fence, except it won't keep us in. like this up north nah not really so why did they build one here i don't know daniel is dad's house in mexico going to be totally trash or what i'm sure it is whatever shit I didn't think there'd be more than a barbed wire fence out here. I'm sure it is. Whatever. That's a good project for us. Right? So, here we are, Daniel. The end of the road. Finally. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Take it easy. You can do it.
Dude, it's hard. I can't. It's all right. Take your time. Stay focused. You're right, Super Wolf? Uh, almost. It's okay. It's okay. Just breathe. Shh. Breathe. We did it! We fucked that shit up. <laughs> yes! <sighs> it's all thanks to you. It's gonna be alright now. We've done the hardest part. Thanks for taking me down here, Sean. <laughs> nah. We did it together, man. Come on. Let's go back to the car. Oh man! Oh, I cannot wait to go swimming in the ocean! Oh. That would be cool if we could just walk to the beach. Can't wait to go shopping. I'm dying to get some Choco Crisp. It'll be so- <laughs> Daniel! Daniel, talk to me! Daniel! Talk to me! Oh. Oh. Oh, no! No way! Not now! Daniel! Hey! Who are you? Did you shoot my brother? Hey! Oh. Oh. Oh shit, Madison. I told you it was a fucking kid. Get off of me! Get off of me! Well, Daniel! Is he? He's my brother! He's okay. Bullet just grazed him. Let me him. go! Do not move if you want to keep that arm. Comprende? Keep an eye on the wall. These fuckers blew it up so their friends can cross. Daniel! So what's the plan, huh? I bet there's a dozen more coming through, right? No! We're leaving! Going to Mexico, I swear! Wait, wait. You're trying to break into Mexico. <laughs> That's fucking funny. We're Americans! Americans, damn it! Now, it's not legal to blow up walls. That's called terrorism. You get it? Do we look like terrorists? We're just kids. Not after you blow a wall up. So tell me the plan. Hey, don't fuck with us, kid. You're the only ones around. Looks like no one's coming for now. Anyway, don't waste your energy. I bet the Porter Patrol has a big plan for you, mister. Madison, come on! We have to deal with this kid. No. Still bleeding. Don't touch him! Get off! Yeah, don't move! Uh. What? What the fuck? Get it off! Stop! Get it off! Jesus! What the fuck is going on? What? Where's Spencer? He's off duty today. Why? <laughs> Listen, uh, we have a deal. He knows. Yeah, I heard about this crap. Not happening anymore. Come on, Maddie. Do what the officer says. <laughs> fuck! How old is he? He's all right, officer. Don't worry. Shut it! 
You're both coming with me to the station. What? Are you kidding? What? They're illegals. Fuck's sake. What I say. Oh. Uh, okay. Up. Up. Take a breath. You okay now? Daniel! What? Uh, I'm sorry, are you Sean? Sean Diaz? <laughs> You're under arrest. Don't look at me. Estás bien? Sí. Yo soy Diego. Mi mi esposa Carla y este frijolito de aquí es um, es Ángel. Oh, Ángela. Encantado. Eh, soy Sean. ¿Cómo te sientes, hijo? Um, ¿Han visto un niño de 10 años? Es mi hermanito. Nos separaron a cerca del muro. Está herido. Lo llevaron a la enfermería. Si fuera grave, una ambulancia ya habría venido a buscarlo. Si lo dejaron aquí, quiere decir que está bien. Tranquilo, amigo. Aquí no hacen daño a los niños. ¿Saben...? ¿Cuánto tiempo nos van a dejar aquí? No. Esta es la primera vez que intentan cruzar. Me acuerdo de nuestra primera vez. Casi morimos de sed en el desierto. En realidad... Um, queremos llegar a México. ¿A México? No mames. ¿Pero por qué? Entonces son gringos. Sí, nacimos aquí. Pero ahora tenemos que irnos. Todos estamos escapando de algo. Es la tercera vez que intentamos cruzar la frontera. Son muy valientes. Y además estás embarazada. <ríe> Mi Carlita es la mujer más valiente del mundo. <ríe> y la más inteligente también. En nuestro pueblo era profesora. Queremos que el niño nazca en este país. Que tenga la nacionalidad. Queremos darle una vida... Una vida mejor a nuestro hijo. O oh, hija. Es lo que hizo mi papá. Se fue de México cuando murieron sus padres. Para ganarse la vida. Pero yo sé que extrañaba su pueblo natal. Por supuesto. Pero seguro que tuvo sus razones para irse. Como nosotros. No quiero desanimarte, amigo. Pero lo de México... No va a ser fácil para ustedes. Es un país magnífico. Y me cuesta muchísimo dejarlo, pero... Allá va a ser muy complicado cumplir tus sueños. Ya no tengo sueños aquí. Sean, has vivido en este país toda tu vida con un padre mexicano. Y ahora los tiempos han cambiado. ¿Cómo crees que va a ser todo en el futuro? Los tiempos cambian. Pero la gente también. En el camino... Encontré muchos aliados. Ojalá haya menos personas intolerantes en el futuro. Ojalá. Cuando eres extranjero, tienes que trabajar aún más duro para arreglártelas. Así funciona. Oh, shit. Enough now. It's America. We speak English. We're just talking. No, the problem is you people breaking into my country. We come here to work, 
not steal or live at your, at your home? Diego, no, I am so fucking tired. You only come here to cause trouble. And we have to pay for your welfare. You all want a free ride. And that makes me sick. Immigrants built this country. Where did the founding fathers come from, huh? No, 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 that was different. They made the laws. They wouldn't stand by and let this happen. We only want work and, and, and in peace. Yes, an honest job and the ability to raise our child in a safe country. That's all we're looking for. <laughs> That's what you people always say. But the facts speak for themselves. My dad was an immigrant, and he worked his ass off, raised a family, and made a business. Yeah, and his son ended up in jail. What a role model. Thanks for proving my point. Damn right, baby girl. You hunt us like, 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 like animals. <laughs> I don't think I have a choice. I want the safest country for my children. See? You love your family like us. We don't go walking hundreds of miles in the desert and risking everything for no reason. We do it for our child. A mother must understand. Now you and your unborn parasite have nothing in common with me and my family. <laughs> what? Maddie. what you say? <laughs> oh, see? There you go. Take it easy. This is our country. You win. Siéntate, Diego. Solo vas a empeorar las cosas para ustedes. Tienes razón, amor. No vale la pena. Whether you people like it or not, we're not gonna give you a break. You're in jail too, loser. Why are we stuck down here with them? You know us. We're helping you, goddammit! Hey, you have the right to remain silent, so fucking use it, okay? <sighs> All right. Diaz, you're up. How's... my brother? Don't worry about him. Now turn around. Hands behind your back. Okay? Let's move it. All right, sit down. Where's my brother? He's doing fine for a kid who got grazed by a bullet. Lost some blood, but he's tough. They're taking care of him at the infirmary. You want coffee? Okay. Good. Be right back. <sighs> Fuck. What did they do with Daniel? I hope he's all right. There you go. Looks like you need it. Thanks. All right. Let's see. Hmm. Okay... Damn. Seriously? No... Yeah. Oh, shit. Coffee's gonna make me feel so much better. At least it'll keep me up. Jeez. That's quite a crime spree. It's hard to believe what kids can do nowadays. Killing that officer in Seattle. Assaulting a gas station clerk. Caught in a, another weird explosion at a pot farm in California. Then you join a religious commune in Nevada and its leader is found dead short after. Hmm. And... We're not even halfway down the list. One of those things you could get away with. But not all that. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever. Keep your teenage crisis for Agent Flores. She's on her way. She spoke to your mother, who took responsibility for the church fire. 
She says a lot. Who cares? You don't have any proof. Don't drag her into this, okay? She's a good person. Hey. It's not up to me, kid. Listen. I feel sorry for you. I really do. But... Denying what you did will only make things worse. I did what I had to do. I needed to protect my brother. I know, son. But running away from trouble is never a good solution. You know, I read the report. You claim that Officer Matthew's death was an accident. So why didn't you wait for the police? No one would have believed what happened. We didn't either. Well, it's too late now. Your case is filled to the brim with evidence. Good news is, your brother's too young to be prosecuted. He'll end up with your grandparents, if they want him. But you're facing a shitload of years between bars. At least he'll get a life. Uh, what I don't get is how two kids can destroy so much stuff. I mean, anywhere you went, something blew up. Seriously. How? What do you want me to say? We're supervillains. We can't help but destroy shit. Yeah, right. Uh, I, I bet the judge will love this. Maybe he'll give you special treatment. Whoa! What is that? Uh, sir? I don't think you should... Keep your ass in that seat. Hold on. You okay? How do you feel? I, I'm okay. Just a little headache. Dude, who cares? I took care of the others as well. Let's go. Yeah. Hey! Hey! This is Wong, bullshit! We gotta go! Get us out of here! I'm scared enough. I'm still here. Hold on. We're gonna get you out. Daniel? Wow. That's it! Gracias. Muchas gracias. Espérenme aquí. Until I check this out. O of course. Daniel, can you open their cell? After what they did to me? No way, Sean. You're right. Never mind. Okay, oh, hands up! Shit! Don't move! Don't shoot! Hands up! Do not move! Wait! Sean. Stay back, Daniel. Let me think. Sean, what do I do? Quick. I gotta find something to stop them. Come on. The muck, dude. Get rid of them. We will shoot what if fuck? we need to. Understand? Fire extinguisher. What's what going on? Okay, what the fuck? Do not move! Don't do anything this stupid, This is our kid. last Put him in there. Now! Okay. You're the man. Now let's move. Sean, I think our things are in there. Hey, hey, Step hey. back. What did you do? You nice! Don't move. I'll be right back. Okay, but be quick. We would be so dead if we didn't have Daniel's power. If... Take it out, Daniel. Que Dios los bendiga. Okay, go, go! Let's roll, Daniel.
somebody is chasing us. Not yet. Emergency! This is an all-point bulletin for every unit in the area. Multiple prisoners, two adults, and two teenagers have escaped from the El Rey police station. They are considered armed and dangerous. Repeat. Are... we still going to Mexico? Yeah. We got nowhere else to go. Sean, it's the 4th of July, our first one without Dad. You're right. Remember how he was so in the fireworks every year? He always made us go too early so we could get a good spot. I know. He is so corny. He said he was proud to live in this country. Sean, we can't let them get us. Sean! Sean Diaz! It's over! Don't make this worse! Get out of the car! Slow! Wave your hand above your head! Do exactly what I say! You know that day in Seattle, the date Dad was shot? I think about it every day, and I would give anything to change what happened, but I can't. I'm sorry for my mistakes. I tried my best. I swear. Sean. But you were the one with the real power, and you know how to use it now. You're not a kid anymore. If we surrender, they will separate us, Daniel. And if that happens, promise me that you will be strong. Be brave. Be a fighter, Inano, like you already are. Don't say that. Let's just get out of here. Don't make any more mistakes. Whatever happens, always remember that you're Daniel Diaz. I promise, Sean. So, how does the story of the Wolf Brothers end? Step out of the car! Now! They make it to the other side. Be careful.
Shoot! Shoot! Fire! What the fuck? What are you doing? We can go now. Yeah. Let's go home.